So he wanted to learn Marduk. I obviously know a thing or two about Marduk. This is from his perspective, not mine. Interesting Steam name he has there. Uh, what are the shortcuts to skim through this shit? So in general with Marduk, first of all, in the Marduk versus Marduk matchup, you can abuse down four, but I wasn't doing this to him. I was trying to play in a way where I was just kind of like examining what he was doing as I was playing, because I was playing with the intent of giving him advice. But at the same time, I was trying to like practice certain things, and I fucked up a lot. I dropped like every fucking juggle. I already remember that, right? But in the Marduk matchup, you could kind of abuse down four, right? And it just kind of let them take their turn, kind of thing. Oh, he's doing that to me after I did it to him. You see how? All right, you see what he did there, right? That's how. That's not how you want to do that. The tackle. How do I pause? Answer right. Okay, good. First of all, when you're Marduk and you land this low, VTS down one plus two. I haven't gone through the Oki. I know the old Oki isn't as good as it used to be, but it's still good. The old Oki for this low is you would uh, go into tackle and you would get the spear if they tech. And another thing you do is go into VTS and do VTS three, which is while standing three. It'll hit them if they stay grounded. And if they tech, depending on how well you time it and space it, it will push them back at an angle. You probably see me do this a lot still. I do this still because it's like a habit from tech and tag two. But um, they block it at an off-axis angle, and they have trouble punishing it, depending on the matchup. Some characters don't, but a lot of characters do. So it becomes like a safe on block launcher. And obviously, if they get up and duck for some reason, they'll get launched. If they wake up kick, they'll get launched. He gets it. He dashes up deep, backs up, then goes into VTS and tries to tackle. You need to make that decision. If you're going to go over VTS tackle, you need to make that decision right there and commit. Right? The only thing you could do, you have to commit to the startup of the tackle. The only thing you could react to is if they tech or if they get up late or something like that. If they don't tech, if they get up late, you can react by canceling the tackle animation with a sidestep. And that's all you got. But you're still stuck in VTS, which means I can hit you if you don't commit to some sort of button afterwards. But it's still a commitment of some sort. It's just you don't have to go to the full tackle commitment. That takes really good reaction and a lot of experience with this character to do, though. Either way it goes, that's not, you know, you want to commit to that right away. You don't want to wait and see and then let me just try to tackle now. You know, at that point, he should have stayed in VTS and mixed up the low with some sort of mid. Instead of doing that. Yeah, that was good. I'm proud of myself for that one. <laughs> so, first of all, this move right here, down 2 4, is a very good move. This is me using it. It's delayable, hit confirmable. They nerfed it because the second hit by itself on counter hit used to give the same knockdown that counter hit while standing four gives. Now, uh, with, but basically, there's no reason to not delay this move. You should always delay this move. No matter how much you delay it, it's still natural combos. It's still safe on block. And delay it allows that, gives them the opening to press something and kill. And if you delay it every time, it lets you better get away with using down two by itself because it's going to cause a massive amount of hesitation. See? And look at this pushback, even though it's, I believe, negative nine on block. Look at this spacing. Look at that. Look at that. Woo! Perfect example of how you use Mardux poking, right? People have asked me many times, how do you use Mardux poking when he's always, like, at negative nine and shit? There you go, right? Down two, four on block. I just rewind, like, two seconds. Down two, four on block. I'm negative nine. I backdash. Free back four. Now, I could have probably done worse, but he just did jabs, so I went with something fast. Back four, 14 frames. And it's a mid, so he couldn't duck, obviously. Then I try to force it down back two. He blocks it, but once again, same sort of spacing. I could have done the same thing. Once again, he did the same thing, but I didn't take advantage. So, I could have done the exact same thing I did with, back, with down two four earlier. Back dash and hit him again. But I didn't do it that time. Either way, I'm just kind of letting him take his turn in general. Oh, I sidestepped into a button and that phantom hitbox. Look at the hitbox on that shit. Look at the hitbox on this shit. Look at this. Oh, you know what that is? That's classic Marta getting clipped on his left dumbass arm sticking out. But that was counter hit, so he did interrupt something. He wasn't ready, though. He, You know, he's new to the character. Marta is one of those characters where, like, it's really easy to drop his confirms. It's weird when you're not used to him for whatever reason. 
See, I did the same thing. I responded with jabs that time. He could have done the thing that I did earlier to him, to me there. Down back four. That's like the biggest buff that Marduk has in his game. A new down back four. If it doesn't clean hit like it did there. This boof, right? If you get that trip, you still get that guaranteed. Now to do that, uh, to get that guaranteed, you have to wake up, tap up, and then press three to do basically the generic down three. You don't get wake up three. Wake up three whiffs. I <laughs> got him. Like always, delay the low. Because people commit to blocking instead of just, like, pressing. Not always, but, you know, they, they often do. So even though you'd like, all right, this guy might get slow, delay low will catch it because they won't commit to staking ducking, usually. usually, Unless they read what you're doing, right? There it is. You see? I did it. Look at this. I just did it. Right? VTS down one plus two. Dash up. VTS three. See, look at this angle right now. Now, in this instance, he could have jab punished that for sure. If you get that perfectly spaced in a lot of matchups, uh, a lot of punishes tend to whiff. It's weird. And then I countered. <laughs> that was some scumbag shit on my part. The only reason that worked is because he did a 16 frame move there. That's the only reason that worked. Running three, not a good move, but he hit me. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. That's me trying to dash up full crouch headbutt. I've been practicing that combo. Not here. After this set, I dropped it every time, so I've been trying to practice it. I gotta practice it a lot more. It's it's an unusual pickup. Ah, uh, I was way too slow there on that whip punish, and he was slow on whip punishing me with the jazz. He ran into that. There it is. I get it, and I drop it. It's a finicky combo, but it's worth doing because. The damage otherwise is shit off of that. I could have probably counter confirmed that. Now this, the reason why I like doing this at the start of the round sometimes is because look at the spacing right now. A lot of uh, launchers will whiff. But obviously that's like a gigantic risk for many reasons, right? There's still some punishes that will catch this. If you whiff it, you're gonna get, you know, they could dash up and launch your ass, you know? But typically that's the spacing that allows it to be safe in a lot of instances. He didn't even try to punish it though, so whatever. Jab to down three. Oh, I'm just throwing out launches now. You could crouch jab when tackle's coming. You could press anything when tackle's coming, as long as it's not a high. I could have probably kept pressure there, but I'm letting him go. See, I'm just like, I'm not doing good whiff punishment. I don't know why. I gotta, I gotta take better advantage of every little whiff. That's a, I've always been so bad at that. All these opportunities. See, that could have been a launch. All right, he looked like he counter confirmed that. That's pretty good. That was too far there. I didn't want to whiff punish that. You see, look at the range on down back two. Versus Marduk specifically. Another, he blocked it, but another perfect example of how Marduk's dumbass left arm allows you to clip him. All right, I whip punish that. Right here, watch when he blocks this. Look at that. Phantom hitbox on that shit. Ah, he rewinds 10 seconds, so annoying. How do I get the slow motion? Anybody know the, the slow motion on YouTube playback? Ah, good looking out, Tom Jet Upper. Look at that. Look at where his hand is right now. And look at where my arm is, and it registers as a block. You see this right now? You see that right now? If only you were 60 frames. <laughs> and then Monica's is like, oh, my hand. Oh, I got to pull his hand back. Classic Marduk, man. That's classic Marduk right there. We're just dancing around like a Street Fighter. Oh, uh, I not whiff punish that properly, but I got something at least. Back four. Good shit. Mm, he got up into the one, two.
See, those of you that are wondering, that join after I start this and wondering what I'm doing, um, the guy I'm playing here is new to Tekken and especially new to Marduk. I'm kind of sh doing this to show, not only so he could watch this back later, but to show people that there's always something to learn, even if you fight newer people. You can practice things in a certain way and get better at certain things. Like, f fighting, you know, oh, I need to find people on my level. It's a waste of time by fucking these people that do these things. It's like, no, you could turn it into a not waste of time by playing a certain way. If you're willing to dumb yourself down. Well, maybe that's not the right way to put it. If you're willing to commit to doing things that you're bad at and getting better at that. That's a better way to put it. Commit this, these matches to with punishing, positioning, dealing with certain moves. Now the guy I'm fighting, he's very patient, so it's hard to just get him to bait, to bait him to do random like, like bait him to do specific moves. He's just kind of hanging around and trying to like play me basically, instead of just throwing out moves too much, which is good, but. He lacks um, matchup knowledge, so I could still get away with murder. Like I already knew early on in the set, I could just get away with VT one two VTS like crazy, like I always do. Ah, good whiff punish. See that? You got me there. Ugh, I gotta use the period and the combo. See that? Yeah, good shit. He didn't get the juggle, but good whiff punish. I got up, mash while standing three because I saw him with something. Didn't work out. That was stupid of me. No punish though. Yep, no punish. Ah, my whip punish was better. <laughs> Ideally, you want to land that over down forward one as he whip punish. It's two frames slower. It used to be one frame slower. Now it's two frames slower because they buffed down forward one. But that's where, you know, the bigger damage is. Ah, oh, he broke it. I remember he kept breaking one. I was like, why do you keep breaking one? He, he did it again. I didn't even notice this when I was playing him. He did the same thing and he dashed forward. Backdash went into VTS. I don't know if he tried to go for tackle or whatever, and I just got up and launched him. You got to commit to your Oki with Marty. If you're going to go for Oki with Marty, you got to commit or just back off and don't do anything. Back off, look at they whiff, if that's what you're looking for. Good whiff punish, no juggle. He tried to forward forward two. That's what happens when you fuck up forward forward two. You get a forward two typically. Ah, that buff is so good. It's so good. For lower to mid level but not as good for higher level because high level people won't match there but before i would have been interrupted there because vts didn't high crush as well as it does now see that that's new and that's only because he delayed the jab if he had jabbed right away he probably would have interrupted he could have whip punished that but he wasn't ready Ooh, that crushes Down three. Remember those low pokes. Nice. I should have launched there. I wasn't ready. See, I was already thinking side steps of down four, three, one. That's why I didn't launch them. Down back two. He keeps it simple. No. What you want to do there is instead of that second VTS cancel to one, two, he should have did VTS cancel to two, down one plus two. That probably would have wall carried there. Wait, did I just do that after an unsafe move? Oh boy. Wait. Oh, okay, no, I did two once, I was plus. Not plus enough to make that a frame trap, but you know. I was worried about the second hit there, that's probably why I didn't try to whip punish. Ooh, I don't know what I was trying for there. That was a fuck up execution error for sure. Man, yeah, I was confident in that one. And then I fuck it up. Yeah, you should launch me. See, that's the thing about that back one too. It's uh, it's a little awkward, right? It feels weird to do it, like weirder than the, the VTS cancel to grab. Because there is like, there's something about VTS cancel to back one too that's messing a lot of people, myself included. Where it feels like you gotta press it later than anything else at a VTS cancel. 
But you press it too late, that is what happens. And that's a free launch when that happens. Like, when you tech, you gotta launch that. All he got is a down forward two. He probably meant... He might have meant to down forward two launch, because he played Leo before. So he might have been thinking down forward two launch. That's reasonable. Martis launches down forward one. Which is unusual. The delay, and I went mid that time. <laughs> Damn, I was going for fucking... Tag two, Oki. <laughs> Back row catch, down forward three one. That's not a really good Oki anymore. I gotta stop that. Down forward three used to be a good Oki too. What's up, Rich Homie Magic Online? Did you cop smash? Yeah, I did. I did cop smash. What is that clip? Let me see. I'm gonna mute it. That's Eddie. Wait, what the fuck? Ah. <laughs> Eddie's in a similar situation to Marduk. That's why, all right, you guys gotta understand, that's why they have the back dashes that they have. Cause they have to have it. Cause their stupid fucking dumbass arms are all, all out there to get clipped. Otherwise they couldn't back dash. It's like, why have a back dash? Once upon a time, Marduk had the best back dash in the game, in DR. Now it's probably Eddie. Fast forward. I don't know why I did that, but he ain't with fun of shit. <laughs> I'm just pressing buttons when I see a button come out. I gotta not do that. Oof. He tried for the with punish. I see he's fucking up too. No juggles. Oh, I tried to get cute and back that to a button and I got counter hit. He didn't get the combo though. Yeah, I landed at that time for once. Shit. One, two, forward one. He, does, he knows not to press. Good. You see this? This is a problem I'm having. I'm so like concerned with playing safe for if I fuck up my whiff punish that I'm using the safe on block option. I should have launched him for that. This right here? Right there. That whiff punish? That should have been a down forward one. I gotta like, you gotta get those, uh, he does so much damage that you can't let opportunities like that slide with this character. You really have to like optimize. You should optimize in general, but with this character especially, you're just missing, you know, so much damage left on the table, more so than most other characters. That you're just doing it wrong, you know. Now the down two, the, 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 see, that's an example of what I saw before. If you get the knockdown, you gotta go up and commit. Whatever you're thinking, I get this knockdown. Do your option right away. I'm here thinking down three. I'm sorry, uh, dash down three. Boom. No hesitation on my part. That was what I was thinking the moment I hit him. You, you know, if you hesitate, that's typically when you get hit by wake up kicks and shit. You know. Oh, I tried to counter after the whiff, and I got launched. <laughs> See, he got the down back soon. He just kind of let me get up for free. Now, that's okay to do sometimes. By the way, he blocked this, which means you already know what's happening. Was that the back row version, actually? That was Okay, that wasn't the version I thought it was. If that was the spring kick version, I would have gotten a jungle there. Um, like... Marduk's Oki, he rides momentum very well because of the way he's Oki's design. It is risky momentum, but he can definitely ride the momentum off of a knockdown better than most characters. And if you just kind of knock someone down and it's like, all right, I'm going to let them get up, you you know, you're leaving a lot of damage on the table. Do that if you want to take zero risk when you have a heavy life lead. Otherwise, do something. Do something. Ah, missed the whiff opportunity. You get some knockdown. See? Like, well, you know. You gotta... No hesitation. You gotta just go in. Go in. This is the thing I'm gonna do now. Good, good. With punish. He could have lost me and killed me. Oh, now he's got me. Crouch jab and start around. <laughs> I think I did notice he was doing that, and I was trying to start rounds with low parry, and he never did it when I tried. So. 
Oh, I, I, I started doing that because Bronson was doing that last time I saw him stream. I got to use that move more. As much as I hate that input, that's why I don't use the low very much, the course to go forward to. I just hate doing course to go forward or in the heat of a moment. It's, I'm not good at it, which is not a good excuse. The answer is get good at it. So I haven't tested this, but I think it's still a situation where when they break your ground grab that he's plus. That was the case before. I think it's still that way. I'd have to test. That's why I'm being aggressive after he breaks my ground throw. Oh, even if he knew that was coming, he committed to a button and it interrupted him. So I just noticed the fireworks in the background of this stage. That's uh, zero on block. He could have ducked that and launched me. See, I was trying not to abuse that too much, even though I noticed he never ducked it. I was trying not to overly abuse that because that just would have been easy pressure and easy to keep him not moving. <laughs> there it is. Yes. <laughs> All right. So what I do there is it, it, it seems like it's trolling, but it's not, even though it is funny looking. This is something I do often in matchups where the character, even, even when they can launch me for it, I generally do this sometimes. <laughs> down four and one, down four and one. Down four, step back, down four, step back, down four. The reason I did this is because he never moved forward and he never pressed right away. That's the only reason I did that three times in a row there. And I probably took, wow, ah, look at the animation. Looks like I destroyed his fucking leg. It is called knee slicer, right? Um, I tend to do this when like I notice that people don't constantly pressure me after a down four. I'll do this sometimes on him. It's negative five on hit. That doesn't mean you should press every time against it, but you know, I'm just getting stupid there with the armor. That wasn't so bad. Down one looks like, you know, when people don't know the matchup, that's the kind of move that they'll press after. And I figured I would go for something that would've gotten me to kill instead of just jabs. His down forward combo isn't that much damage. It's 69. If you do the back one two under, otherwise it's 67. For 15 frames, that is uh, near the top. That is like, not the top. The top top is like Gigas. You know, outside of wall and range, I think Gigas does the most with 15 frame with your standard 15 frames. And then you know, when I say standard, I mean like hop kick or down forward two. I'm not thinking like electric jet upper those things. Those are kind of those are unique. Or, or dark upper those. those uh, uh, I don't know how much jet upper damage is, but you know, electric and dark upper obviously give you more damage. But as far as your standard down forward two or hop kick 15 frame, it's it's uh, near the near the higher end. Gigas gets I think 72. Sick. I'm probably gonna upload this to the YouTube later. I want to do more of this, so I figured I'd start with this. Let me. Oh. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. I don't know if that tracked or it was just Marduk having a shitty sidestep right that got me hit there, or maybe I didn't get to do a full sidestep and press the button. I don't think that's supposed to track like that. Oh, he just masked there for sure. Oh, now he's jabbing me. I don't know why I did a steady three. That was me fucking up an input probably. With punish. That's a really good wall carry filler. Oh, wow. That did not reach. I was not expecting that to whiff like that. I have yet. Just recently, I, I got the new Oki. Thanks to Bronson's advice off of the wall grab. For anti wake up kick. I'm going to start implementing that. Damn, that just clipped him. I just did that weird ass filler there because I wasn't sure of the angle. So I just did the jab down back two. The angle could fuck up down forward four too sometimes. Because down forward four has not a great hitbox. I don't know why I do it standing. Oh, I'm just being slow with the block punish. I don't know why I did that standing four there though. There I got the whip punish. What was I thinking there? I don't know. It was like tag two? <laughs> Maybe I was trying to tag two him. Ooh, again. What is that? What was I doing? 
That was his one suit VTS four one four easily, and I did one suit VTS cancel one suit. I'm like, what am I doing? Ooh, gonna punish that better. Ah. So the idea is there is a way to option select uh, one or two with the middle break, but I haven't practiced it. That doesn't work. I thought I thought back one two would work, but now I know it's just back one. Could have uh, juggled me there. Could have juggled me again. You gotta be ready for that. Down forward four two when that happens. Guaranteed follows off of that, but I didn't try it. Hard to do. Oh, oops! <laughs> I meant to down forward three, and I got forward forward three because I dashed first probably, and I fucked up the input. See? That's the walk I was talking about, and then I knew that's just me, like, with experience of this character. Like, enough experience to know that that wasn't going to make it to the wall. So I got in his face in VTS using that cancel. But he's not going to make it to the wall. Forward 3 plus 4, and I forced the mix up when he teched. Wow! The tag 2 Oki flow worked! Because <laughs> he tried to spring kick there. He tried to do the uh, dive. But that's old tag two and Tekken six and DR shit. You would use down forward three to pick up back roll. See, that's the only reason that worked. And I did the wrong uh, jab string. I could have whiff punished that easily, but uh, sleep with the wheel. I gotta take a closer look at my positioning for this stuff. I'm, I'm like getting it better than I thought I was during the set. I just wasn't. I'm, it feels like I'm get. I'm standing in the right places. I'm just not pressing the buttons at the right time. In this matchup, with Marduk, you generally in most matchups want to be at the tip of down three and down four range and dance back and forth in that range. You want to be able to chip away at them. Like Marduk is really good because of the tracking on his lows. He's really good at forcing them to respond. And you have to do that with this character. You have to. Forcing standard mix-ups in the neutral with him is not very good. Not not against people that know the matchup and have good reactions. You can't, you know, you're really flipping a coin and it's in more in their favor than it is in your favor as Marduk. Because he's so punishable. Jet upper 20. If you say Jet upper 20 dash, I'm talking about the juggle damage, not the launcher damage. See, I'm doing. I don't know what I was thinking there. I'm doing like tag two, Tekken six shit. Even then, that's like DR shit. That's not even tag two shit. <laughs> Wall carry with jab strings. Like what? Ugh. See, now, I, I, I like what I did there, kind of, right? Now, I probably could have gotten more, but because of how far back I was, see? I'm here thinking, like, all right, this range, down back two is not going to work unless he moves forward like crazy, you know? So there's really two whiff punishes you got to have in mind from all the way back here. And they're both high, unfortunately, in my opinion. Forward one plus two and back three plus four, which I keep forgetting exists again because it hasn't existed for the past... Uh, uh, two games now? Yeah. It hasn't existed since DR. That move. That's his old back four. I think forward one plus two has more range. So here, right? See, I'm all the way back here. I'm just thinking. The reason I did that is because I'm just thinking. I'm going to whiff punish with that move and probably nothing else unless he recovers uh, crouching. So yeah, I could have gotten more here, but I think it's reasonable. You know? But basically... Based on your range, you need to change the width punishes you have in mind. If you're in that down three, down four range, you got to think about down forward one, up forward one plus two, which is one that I forget about, you know, and down back two if you want to be safe, right? But from all the way back there, you got to change it up. I committed to the whole string in case he got up. That's a great string because it's, uh, it is high in the second hit, but it's safe on the last hit. Oh, I sidestepped first that time. I kept dropping the juggle here. Yeah. Ugh. 
that filler. He recovers awkward off of that filler. I'm just not used to it yet. Oh, did I get it this time? I got it! I got it! Oh, I got it! Oh, no! Nah, okay, he could attack. Look at the health. When the back one hits him, it resets the red health. That means... Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, that was legit. I'm proud of myself. I fucking landed it without practice. I practiced it after the set. <laughs> Jab punish that. Ooh, I was I didn't think that was gonna whiff. That's why I wasn't ready. That was dumb. I don't even know why that worked. <laughs> That's not a work. Oh, breaking it. Why did I do that? That was stupid of me. He's at jab, he's at like poke kill, and I did a down forward one. I, I don't have a good excuse. Maybe I'm used to down forward one being a poke, and I pressed it there and So, so far, what I have here is I need to press the right buttons when I make things with. I definitely need to practice my jungle conversions. Uh, yeah. And for Nick, Nick is, is a lot of this matchup knowledge he's lacking. But like, like I said, I'm holding back running the gimmicks on him. He does a pretty good job at whiff punishing sometimes. About as often as me, really. He needs juggle conversion too, obviously. I landed that. Let's see if I landed this time. No, okay, that was the thing that I remember kept happening in this matchup. It might be because of Marduk's like stubby ass legs here. But that seems to whiff on him. I need to find a better juggle for that. Ooh. So that's a thing that happens now a lot. <laughs> With the new down forward three range. And that wasn't even like he did block the down forward three, so it wasn't because of down forward three. I think it's because he blocked the tip of down forward three and it pushed him out a little here. Let me, uh, so I drop this. Let's see. Yeah, the tip. Oh, see? Yeah. If this were tag two, the down four three would have been blocked. Because it wasn't blocked, he was able to backdash. And that pushed him out. Perfect spacing to make that whiff. Now, there's no way he would have known that in the heat of the moment. That's something that you would only know with a lot of experience. So I don't blame him for not seeing this coming. All right. And then I get stupid and try to counter off the whiff. True online player scumbag tactics. Ooh, I guess I thought that was negative 13 that time. I think it's only negative 12. Oh, well, he wasn't ready. He got counter hit. You got to duck that. And then I drop it. Oh, again. Ah, why did I just do a regular ass combo to kill? That was stupid of me. Should just do the easy shit. Do the easy shit if it's going to kill. Don't do the hard shit. Jackhammer. I think I was thinking Jackhammer the whole time, and that's so why I wasn't ready to whiff punish. And I noticed earlier in the set he was uh, staying down, so I ground grab him. No, no wall. See, I tried to uh, change it up and down three him, but he teched in the down three hitbox portion, so it, it whiffed, and he got a counter hit because I matched, I guess. Was that a counter hit? See, I noticed no wall splat, so I tried to uh, contingency plan it, and I hit down three. And he didn't stay down. He got up. And I don't know if that was a true punish or if I was mashing. No, I wasn't mashing because I'm counter hit, not to juggle. So either that was a whiff punish, legit, or I tried to move or something, or duck. It would be nice if this were an actual replay system that would have told me. So yeah, whiff punish for back three, which is something I've been doing lately. Uh, He's pretty good. Ah, got him. I saw him moving forward. Press the counter hit button. <laughs> he should be backing up. If you're going to block after you connect with a down four, backdash. There's no reason you have to not backdash there. Unless, you know. No, there's no reason. <laughs> unless you have some sort of specific spacing in mind that you've tested. You should always backdash after a, a down four connects. If your plan is to block after, stand block. See? Now, I didn't really pressure him afterwards. I don't know why. But still. Alright. 
<laughs> I'm just getting really done with that counter. It's a good counter, though. Oh, I could have launched him there easily. Off of that down four with. There you go. I got it that time. I have this tendency, I noticed, that when I miss a uh, launch on a whiff punish, or just a whiff punish in general, then I hyper-focus on trying to wait for another one. And I think that that makes me easy to read. Right? It's like those people that notice that they get grabbed a lot, so they try to return the favor and grab you back. What's up, Nob Goblin? I feel like I do the same. Like, when I notice that I miss a whiff punish, I just hyper-focus on, like, waiting for a, 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 a whiff. And it makes it obvious because I just stand there moving around and I don't press shit. It's, you know, it's it's too easy to read against a smart opponent. Right? What's up, Majong? That's not a punish. I guess he pressed afterwards because that was a high. That's like negative nine or eight or some shit. Basically negative enough where you shouldn't be moving. Craig Marduk. KOF music is so fucking good. Some of the best arranged soundtracks in all the fighting games. Next to Tekken Tag 1 on PS2. I gotta stop forward rolling. Not that I should never do it, but... I should do it based off of read, not just to be random. Yeah, here I notice he freezes up a lot during my VTS transition pressure, so every once in a while you get a tackle. You do it. I let him get up, and I think I meant to down three there, but I got the full cross down three for some reason. In case you're wondering why I do that sometimes, uh, I haven't tested it in this game, but historically, he's a uh, plus when he just gets up off the tackle like that. I should probably test that. Here, there, I was thinking the back even before. I remember that move existed. It's like, let's try it. And it was too slow to catch him there. Yeah, too slow. So that move obviously records quick because it's zero on block anyway, back three. So the thing about back three plus four is I believe it's a couple of frames slower than forward one plus two. The thing about forward one plus two as a whip punish is if you're moving backwards, it overlaps with back forward one plus two, which you don't want. It has decent range, but you don't want that to happen by accident. I mean, it's not that bad, I suppose, but. There it is. I was thinking hyper-focus on landing that, and I did. Oh, he's, he should kill me here, but he's been dropping it all set. Yep. So, Nick, when you watch this back, let's see. What, what could he have done as an easy juggle ender there? He does this. You should have just rage drive. I probably would be dead right now if he just rage drive rather than trying to do the one-two VTS cancel stuff. All right? Sorry, not rage drive. Rage art. Rage drive is not guaranteed. Rage drive would have gotten you a nice chunk of damage though, but it wouldn't have been a guaranteed kill. Rage art probably would have killed me here. Probably. I don't know. He does have a, quite a bit of health left. But he did this and unfortunately dropped it. Ah, <laughs> that hit me because I did the delay get up. <laughs> that doesn't hit grounded. He interrupted me doing a delayed get up attack. Oof. I don't know what I was trying to do there, but I got fucked for it. Yeah, you land it that way more often than, he, than you do getting a clean hit because people are always moving backwards. It's nice that you still get something guaranteed. The reason that shit is so buff is because uh, when he lands the clean hit, first of all, he gets to trip on clean hit now on normal hit, right? But it's that he has a guaranteed follow-up off of it, which is not easy to do. You want to go right into VTS and then get the full cross down forward four. Guaranteed. If they wake up backwards, it'll hit them regularly in your plus eight. If they stand straight up, it trips them counter hit style because it hits them in the back. And you get guaranteed follow-ups. 
So that is a very high risk thing to fuck up, though, because if they crouch block, he's negative 26 or something crazy. Good old sloth kick. I could have whiff punished that. I could have whiff punished that. I'm so focused on moving backwards. Here's the thing that I noticed that a lot of players do, and myself included. You learn the back dash cancel because, you know, moving backwards is so strong. But you do it too many times, right? Look at the spacing that I'm at. See that? There's no reason for me to do a second backdash cancel right now. No reason. All it took was one at that spacing that I was at. I'm already, you know, I should know this because I know that down three pushes out on hit. Down three on hit pushes out. My response should be if I'm going to move back, back one time. I'm already pushed out. Back one time. But I do two. And because of that, I miss the opportunity to whiff punish. Also, I landed that down 4-3 winner, didn't I? I should have pressured after that. I don't know why I moved backwards. Yeah, I did. Ooh. <laughs> and then we both back touched. <laughs> I could have pressured after that with like a low or something. Yeah, we punished. No, that, that, that was really him mashing. He did a jab, and then he could have blocked at the time, but he pressed again after. And I dropped it. I don't know what that 442 is about. Oh, there it is. See, I think it's so obvious. It's like I go for it once, I remember the move exists, and then I go for it over and over again, and then eventually, bam, right? But, you know, it makes me so obvious. That was what, the, the fourth time I did 4-2 uh, four in like a 10 second span? You know? What's up, Ant Antonator? Uh, after match during practice, it's good. Uh, yeah, now got them. That's why I'm doing this, right? Once again, people have asked me, hey, when I'm fighting newer players, whatever, I'm not learning anything. You can always fucking learn something, right? And check this out. This right here, this isn't my footage. The guy I'm playing, he recorded this using OBS. You don't need to use OBS to just stream. Even if you never plan on streaming, download OBS, and you can record your matches. Right? So long as it's not a heavy load on your computer, you can record your matches just like this and watch it back and do what I'm doing right now and critique your own gameplay. There's a lot of things in the heat of the moment that you're not gonna realize that you're doing or that you're missing. But when you look for it like this, it's good shit. Do a little tally. How many times did I drop a juggle off of this launcher or this juggle? Practice that juggle if it's a lot. There it is. Start of the round and watch you drop it. Bam, that doesn't work. <laughs> I keep forgetting, like, the jungle, the jungles are new in this game, right? Like, there's new things that he has to do, and then I try to get creative where it's like, I think this works because it works in this other situation. It doesn't fucking work. I gotta, like, come up with a consistent juggle that I do. And the thing about down back two is that it lands off access often, so you kind of have to adapt based on that, which is why the thing I used to do was this jab. I would sidestep up to realign, jab, and then go from there. Now, that takes away so much fucking damage that it's like, I don't want to do that, and whatever. I gotta practice. Oof, exchange. I still tried though. <laughs> Ooh, that's the nerf. That is the down forward three range nerf in action right there. Let's see that again. Look at that. Ooh, man. And he got me good. He got me good there. Look at it. <laughs> oh, Marduk. What did they do to your legs, Marduk? What am I gonna do about my legs? Ugh, what are you, look at that. It's like his leg is so heavy, he has to fucking lift it up like, <laughs> He can't, can't quite lift up his leg all the way. Oh, look at that. Ugh. Oh no, oh no. Oh, yeah. Well, he still got it. Well, and he fucked it up. Probably because he didn't get the, the forward forward two and that messed with him. Yes. Yeah, see? Every once in a while, that's the setup. Now, I dashed too much, so I didn't get the spear there. But that's part of the Oki off of that knockdown. You get the spear if they tech if you don't fuck it up like I did there. See? Rewind. Right? There. Bam! And I'm ready for it right away. See? Bam! See? No hesitation on my part. 
But that's how you make Marduk Oki work. It's risky if they get the right read, but that's what you gotta do. If, you, if you're gonna pressure, you fucking pressure. Don't hesitate. Hesitate gets you killed. Ooh, I committed. <laughs> I think he didn't expect me to commit because he's been doing 4-4-3 by itself for the whole set. He never commits. Which you, if there's a matchup where you can commit to that shit randomly, it's this one. Marduk's only punish when his back is not to the wall when he blocks that is back four. 20, 20, 21, 20, 20 damage. Big whoop. Down forward four doesn't reach. There it is. I just do it. I don't give a fuck. I could have done a much better juggle, but whatever. And the spacing fucked that up. I already knew. That's plus one on block. Guaranteed ground throw. Yeah, the angle. I don't know what to do with those uh, side walls. I think I should just do two plus four and grab. And he'll get the fucking tornado grab. Off a sidewall. It took away Miguel's arms to take away Marduk's legs. <laughs> He's been in a hospital, man. He's been skipping leg days. Hold on, I've been noticing my phone's been going off. I should probably check this. Well, I guess while this is loading. We received your payment. Nice. Thanks, Discover Card. For receiving my payment today, even though I sent it on Friday. You guys gotta be careful with that credit card stuff. Especially if you get paid on a Friday. Your payments don't go through until after the weekend. It fucking sucks. And if you don't keep keep good track of your money and you put a payment for like 150 or something and you put your fucking debit under that over the weekend thinking your payment went through and thinking you had that money and then you get cut off at the legs like Marduk, right? Low parry. Ah! Oh! I called it out early. I was like, I noticed he low parry. I noticed he cross jazz on the start of the round. And I try to low parry. I finally land one. And then I do this? That doesn't even make any sense. The low parry pickup is full crouch one plus two. Why did I do full crouch down three? I don't have a good reason for that. I, you know, I was being an idiot. Ooh. That's supposed to be guaranteed. But I think that's only if you land that up close. The down back three. If you land it up close, the dash of down back three is, is difficult, but it is guaranteed. Like, you guys have seen me when I played online. I've hit people with that back turn when they try to get up. There it is. And oof. How many times do I talk about that right there now i didn't get it but that is how you fucking play marduk right you you get the actual launch that right there is how you use that poke exactly and i didn't get it it was only a jab though so i probably would not have been able to launch him oh no no it was a down four and one see that's marduk in a nutshell poke them until they whiff look at that look at the phantom hitbox on that shit <laughs> Okay, it does actually touch him on the hit frame. It does clip his knee. I'm going with the music. And then I wasn't, for whatever reason, I didn't react. I think it's because he so rarely presses after I poke him that I didn't think he would for some reason. That's not a good excuse. You should always be ready to whip punish in that situation. And then I, I, I'm like, oh, I did a whip punish. Let me just do a jab here. To try to steal a turn back, and then I block the down back two. Oh, man, see? That's classic Manny. <laughs> I didn't get it the first time, so I'm like, let me try it again. And then I tried it again, but then I created way too much space, and I used the wrong whiff punisher. Classic Manny Biggs. Do it again. All right, yeah, that was way too slow there. He could have launched me for that, but he was he was too slow too. I don't know what. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I was thinking punishing forward one plus two, but I was moving back forward one plus two came uh, back forward one plus two came out. You could see, you could see it clear as day. Watch, right, lock that right. Let's go right here. Back dash, go forward. See, I'm moving back here. See, I'm moving back. Forward, back. So I'm here thinking this range, forward one plus two. 
Oh, oh, I was already coming to a backdash. Yeah, see? Exactly. That situation, I should have did back three plus four, I think. I might have been too far, though. I probably might have been too far. These are the kind of things that, at a certain level of, of opponent, that you have to be so sure that you don't do the wrong thing to whiff punish, because they're going to be ready, more ready than you are, and they're going to whiff punish your field whiff punish with a launcher. You can't, like, you have to, like, really button this kind of shit up. And all of that comes with just experience with the character and spacing. You just have to keep playing, keep playing, keep playing, keep playing, keep this in mind. What would have been the right whiff punish? If you're talking about this right now, I got to look at the chat more often. Uh, if you're talking about what just happened there, the right whiff punish probably would have been either up forward one plus two or back three plus four. If neither of those would have reached... Then it should it, it was my bad for doing that last back dash. I should have stayed where I was. Maintain the spacing of the move. See there, I was probably not confident in my range, so I tried to dash in and press a button, and we exchanged. He got the launch. He didn't kill me. Well, he probably could have killed. Yeah, he could have killed me there if he had converted that launch properly. One thing I like to do is when I notice those exchanges, I try to go for a one-two BTS. That's a habit I carried over from Tag 2 because of that. That and I do tend to do 1-2 VTS off of down 4 to 1 off axis too. Uh, and reason being, you could react in time and still recover with frame advantage if you drop that. And if you don't drop it, you could react and do VTS forward 1-4 now before it would have been forward 1-2 for bound. Yep. So, one thing I noticed about this from when I played Milo. Before, that would have been, like, a lockdown, right? Like, most characters would not... When one down two connects, I'm, like, plus seven. But notice all this pushback that it does, right? This is where I'm starting to feel the down forward three nerf the most so far. Milo was backdashing this exact thing like crazy. He probably could have backdashed that too. But he ended up getting hit. And I think I was late with my VTS cancel. Oh, no, no, I wasn't. I did down forward forward two for some reason. Even though that had shit range. That was stupid of me. I should have been launched right there, but he didn't launch me. <laughs> no, he's not punishing me, but I'm thinking just in case he pressed something after this, let me down forward one. But uh, he never did, and he's not block punishing me. And then I duck. He got me to duck. He should have committed harder. He would have launched me there. No, nope, wrong punish, Manny. I think I was thinking while standing three, but I was holding down forward. Sorry, while standing two. I forget how fast while standing two is, but that's negative uh, 17 on block. Down forward. There it is. High crush again. Down three. Ooh, you kicked up. You kicked up. And see, once again, I committed. Fully commit. Here's what he could have done here. I hit him. And usually when you connect a low poke or a grounded hitting poke on somebody like that, I know that they tech. So I full on committed right after it. If he had just stayed down, maybe the head but in the end would have hit him with the spacing. If not, he could have delayed his get up to block it. Or if the head but did it, would not have hit if he stayed grounded. He could have gotten up afterwards and just down greed me. And I'd be dead. Instead, he kicked up, and I got him. I should have delayed that a little bit. You know, I shouldn't, I kept, I never really did much else off of 1, 2, forward, 1, or down, forward, 3, 1, 2, forward, 1. If you notice that they respect it every time, you gotta, like, make them not respect it by doing other things. Nice whiff. Uh, even I'm shocked that happened. Better than getting nothing, I suppose. The back four. Ooh! Nice whiff again. Nice uh, sidestep, I should say. Oh, wow. <laughs> that stayed down and just ate that. I got greedy there. He could have killed me for that. Wow, what the fuck? I have no idea what that was supposed to be. Uh, I'm dead. There it is. Negative eight or nine, whatever that is on block. That's how you use that shit. 
Remember, he pushes out a little bit and he doesn't move forward very much. Now, yeah, I could have launched him, but generally that's how you use that. You space it out, and when you space, when you know you space it out, you be ready for the whiff punish. Ooh. Yeah, he did it. He did it, and he did the right whiff punish. He's not day one, Milo, but he's uh, he's been on and off for Tekken, and I don't think he has a main, and he hasn't played in a while, and he like he he comes from Street Fighter and shit, right? So he knows the concepts of like whiff punishing, spacing, and shit, right? And he's trying to, you know, you can tell he's trying to hyper focus on that, but like. The thing up which is great but the thing about that is you need matchup knowledge to really do that in Tekken you could kind of get away with limited matchup knowledge in Street Fighter because there's only X amount of buttons as that you're gonna see coming at you but in Tekken there's so many moves and this is why I'm holding you know the gimmicks back to allow him to, to do that kind of thing you get what I'm saying because easily I could have just been one two forward one four one two forward one one two vts down one plus all day long like i've done to so many people online right you got to see me doing a million times i could have done that shit over and over and over again and then eventually he would have to overcome the hurdle of block punishing those things duck punishing those things it's like yeah all right let's let's get to the chase like let's let, let, let's get to the chase let's cut that shit out right keep that to the side focus on just positioning and whip punish and then i could just tell him hey i did this a couple of times you could duck VTS forward 1-4. You could block punish VTS forward 1-2. You could uh, launch VTS down 1 plus 2. You could launch down back 1 plus 2, right? Those things are just training mode shit. That's whatever. That we're not, none of us, neither of us are going to learn any, anything if I play that way. If I uh, only play that way, right? Every once in a while, I think I did, I did resort to that stuff, but we're not going to learn anything, you know? Especially at, at the level he's at. He's not going to learn much. He's going to learn, all right, I got to punish these things properly. And yeah, that's important. But, you know, learn, you know, he's learning neutral here, too, when I play this way. Now, when I play Milo, Milo knows neutral. He knows that stuff. So I'll start running those fucking gimmicks. It's like, all right, Milo, you need to learn the other things. You need to learn to beat the gimmicks. <laughs> So I can't run the gimmicks on you. And Milo beat the fucking gimmicks last time I played him, man. I got fucked up because of it. M well, more so than I fucked him up. He definitely won more than me, and he demoted me too. I like this stuff about back three. I've been noticing this. Ooh, I rewinded way too much. Ah, yeah, this is the one where I did it, and then he did it right back. See, all right, back three. See, I'm doing the safe option. He did the better option, the down forward one. That's one thing that I need to change. I need to be ready with down forward one. Especially since now it's one frame faster than down back two. So I want you to notice how the back three here connects. That's a pretty... That doesn't mean it's going to hit AOP or anything, but it does seem to have that sort of hitbox where if people get up with something, like get up at all, I feel like a lot of like a back four here would have whiffed, but the back three connected. I may be wrong about that, but I've been noticing that it connects like this fairly often. See, and then it does that weird grounded hitting animation where they stay down and get pushed back. Ooh, that just happened to happen on the same frame. All right, this is where I, I got applauded before he called me with it. All right. And then he missed the juggle, but he got the launcher. Now he just needs to get the juggle, obviously. But the important shit is that he did the spacing and he got the launcher. That's like the part that so many people miss. And he's got that. He just needs to get the juggle consistency down after that. That comes. That should come after, in my opinion. Ooh, no. Why, what was I doing there? I don't know. I should have punished that. There it goes. I got the whiff punish there. And I... Oh, man. Why am I doing that? <laughs> why am I doing that? I got to stop that. Because even if this word tag 2, that would have fucked up the juggle opportunity off of the flow. Not only is this not Tag 2 or Tekken 6 or DR where back row would have been floated there. There's, like, no reason to use that in Oki anymore. Really. Like, I gotta drop that. Old habits die hard, I guess. Good duck. No punish. I ducked right into that. He, he messed up the 4 4 too. There it is. I ran the gimmick, but the sidewall fucked it up.
I did notice that that's been crushing, high crushing off there, which is probably why I keep doing that. Add a little sidestep right to it in case he jabs. I like to do that. BTS cancel sidestep right. It also messes with their timing. People who commit to duck and then they stand when you stand and they sidestep right. It's like, oh, he's sidestepping down four right after that, you know? It's just messing with the timing, you know? It's risky as fuck, though, obviously. Super risky. And on all sorts of levels. But, you know, that's how you open up patient players. Oh, man, I was not ready for that whiff. Well, I don't know what I was thinking there. Maybe I was thinking down forward three, but I didn't press it down forward. Woo! No, no! You wish! <laughs> Mahardic block punishing with a while standing three? On anything? Ooh, nicely done! You just didn't get the juggle, but you got the whiff punish. It sucks dropping that forward forward too. It's kind of why I don't like using it, honestly. Because you drop the whole juggle. It's worse than dropping the ender. At least the ender, you, you lose out on like a lot less damage, obviously. There it is. I wasn't ready. I was, I was kind of shocked. I was like, this guy never pressed there. And, <laughs> and then I got the counter hit and I just wasn't ready. Oh, man. He... Oh, fucked up full cross headbutt. Yes, finally he pressed it and then I fucked up the full cross head, but again. Keep out jab, keep out jab. Never underestimate the power of keep out jab. It's very hard to whiff punish. Oh, that's a launch if I had if I were ready. Plus three, he didn't press, but he ducked. It's kind of weird that he's ducking a lot during that because I've rarely been using the low out of, in that situation. He's like anticipating it for no reason rather than like ducking because I'm abusing it. Oh, launch. There it is. It's like don't duck because I'm guessing low here, right? Duck because, oh, I noticed that this guy does low here. That's how you got to think. Even if you have to eat one right away for some reason. Just eat the low every once in a while. Because the reality is the mids that I use in those situations, whether it's forward one four or forward one two, especially forward one four, if you duck and launch that, you're gonna get way more damage. Uh, maybe not in this matchup, but in most matchups, if you block VTS forward one, two, you're going to get more damage than I do for that, though. In most matchups. Because I think it's negative 13. Uh. I forget, honestly. Whoopsies. He tried to go for the throw. Ooh, spacing on the down, the generic down three. Pushes out. Just like, yep, that's how you use a generic down three. Uh, what were you trying to do there? If you're going to wall throw, use generic throw. You don't have to use forward, forward, one plus two. Oh, no. Wall throw, wall throw, wall throw. Marduk players, if you get wall splat like that, not off of wall carry, just instant wall splat, wall throw. Especially if it kills. That's your highest damage. Because there's no scaling. It's a 70% off of the wall throw. He gets like 40 something or some shit off of the wall throw by itself. The hit throw off of the headbutts. I don't know what the post, uh, what the follow up is off of that situation. I should probably look that up. The headbutt hit throw. Yeah, fucked it up, but I got the tackle because he didn't press. See? Committed to it. He could have lost me. He got up. He, uh, I don't know if he was guessing ground throw, but either way it goes, I did ground throw. That's a free launch. He didn't get it. He wasn't ready. <laughs> I 
I just went for the safe mid every time, basically. Eventually, he's going to duck. Oh, down forward three nerve. Oh, oh my god. What did they do to your legs, Marduk? Oh, what did they do to your legs, Marduk? Oh my god. It's like the same spacing as before. What did they do to your legs? Uh, well, it seems like I'm guessing he's trying to do forward forward one plus two there for Walter. I can't imagine. Or is he going for back forward one plus two and fucking that up? <laughs> I was like, switch sides. Fuck punishing that. Ugh. That actually might be that bad on block if you don't come into a follow up. Which is why I liked, I love that down three hits grounding now. Because before you had to come into that button with the stupid strings. There it is. Nah, not that time. <laughs> you were going to watch Steady 3 me again. <laughs> Remember, jab it to Dom 3. I think Dom 3 is uh, 17 now? Or is it still 16? That's still, there's a big gap there. You could press if you notice that I'm doing it a lot, which I kind of am. Oh, I'm shocked that that landed in that angle. Was that real? Or did he not tech? Was that real? Wait. Let me see. Because that angle, usually when I notice this kind of angle, I would not go for this, this right here. You see, he's, he's at an angle. That was real. Wow. Shocked. Boom. Just committed to it right away. Didn't delay it that time because he killed me before for it. <laughs> Every once in a while, you got to remind them. Just... And a lot of the stuff that I'm doing to him works on people that have been playing for years, too. Keep this in mind. You can totally practice against newer people, you know? You can still learn something. You can still know, realize your weaknesses. Realize things that you aren't doing right. Oof. I'm just swinging. I'm not being smart with it at all. And he was ready, but he was, didn't land the juggle, but he was ready. Ugh. I ain't challenged the last hit. Remember, always delay down 2-4. No reason not to delay it. Oh, I could have launched that. He could have launched me there again. He's been pretty good at launching me there. He did it well. Okay at it, I should say. Not good. I have gotten away with it a bit too much. I have a tendency to, you know, hyper focus on just one move when I have two with similar range for whiff punishment. Yes, that's a great. I love that so much. Down four, three, two is plus two on block. Down four is 14 frames. So you basically, you put them in a situation where, like, they're probably not going to be able to poke you. Or if they do poke with a 12 frame minutes in exchange. So it's a great round ender. And if, especially if a character cannot launch you on block for down four, it's a great round ender. And if you bait them to crush for some reason, you're at plus two, so you can keep swinging. Ah, too far. I delayed it. He could have launched that. That's been nerfed. I wish they gave him King's version of that, because King got a better version of fucking Marduk string, and Marduk ended up with the same version. Sorry, with a weaker version than it was before. That used to be negative 14, I think. I think King could hit confirm that shit off of the second hit. Ooh, what am I mashing for? Oh, he tried. I could have launched. What was... This? Whoa, whoa! What the fuck? I hope that was an input error. Man, input bug. 
why are you doing cornered beasts? Like, into, into this. Oh. You crazy. If you want to cancel, like, if your intent was to cancel corner beasts with a button, crouch step. Down back one. Otherwise, sidestep first, and then three plus four. You cannot corner beasts and then stand straight up. Like normal with BTS. You have to either sidestep first, or cancel it with a crouch jab real quick. Or while standing one. Because at least the thing about whiffing while standing one is he has a counter hit button attached to that. So if they know the matchup, that can cause hesitation. A very delayable counter hit button. <laughs> I'm just going. I'm just like, he's going to swing eventually after a down four. I'm going to launch it. <laughs> I got it. That was stupid of me. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> oh, that's just bad. Maybe I had something in mind at the time and I was hyper focusing on it. I don't know. Sloth kick. Keep it rare. There it is. Every once in a while. Sneak that in there. Oh, I tried a uh, jackhammer. I'm trying to use jackhammer more often because the Oki off of it is really good. Even though I hate the input. It's giant swing input. Ooh, could have punished that. Yes, yes, I was ready this time. I noticed him mashing after one, two. Catch the elbow. See, you gotta notice how, oh, I tried. You gotta notice how I typically only go for like that elbow if I feel like, if I'm noticing something. I don't just try to force it randomly. Ooh, I wasn't ready for that. Ooh, got me out of it. <laughs> I think I tried to input the OS there and I didn't get it. Yeah, so FYI, when you uh, when Marta connects the uh, higher damage options out of this, you can uh, kind of force a wake up kick mix up on him. But up forward three plus four crushes faster than typical. It's like five frames or six frames to crush. So he can beat out Loeko kick with that, but generally he has to guess the Waco kick mix up. I didn't think he was gonna up four three plus four, so I just did a low Waco kick. Yes, yes, yes! I did the thing. Yeah. Oh, oh, he broke it. <laughs> oh, I saw a whiff and I was like, "Fuck this." <laughs> We're punished with an unblockable. <laughs> he probably would have interrupted if he did the second hit of that screen. That was a weird choice in general. I was all the way back there and he did down forward too. No, 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 no. No good. If you see that kind of spacing, don't press. One thing you could do with Marduk is what I did earlier when you back us to the wall. One plus three grab. Switch the sides on success and break. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be doing this. I'm only halfway through this video. Need more adaptation. More adaptation. See, every time, like, yeah, no, he hasn't really noticed. But jab is only plus one on block, right? Off of jab, I'm doing slow shit. I'm doing, like, 15, 6, not even 15, like, 16, 17, 18 frame moves. You gotta notice that. And I never had a reason to stop. So you see, the reason I did 1-2 there, that's a habit from, like, Tag 2, where max range down forward 1. You couldn't get the 2 down 1 plus 2 sometimes. So I would do 1-2. That's not necessary anymore, because forward forward 2 is consistent in range. So I gotta work that, you know, in there. But whatever. Ooh, I wasn't ready for that to get a full wall spat like that. Ooh, should have been. <laughs> That's why I hesitated when I went to BTS. I was like, whoa, he wall spat? I could have at least gotten, like, something out of that, like, BTS forward one, two, or something. Oh, look at the shit range of down forward four. You see what I'm talking about? Watch this. Watch the shit range of down forward four right here. Oh, man. What did he do before? He hit me with something. 
Did he even push me out? Oh, look at this. Look at this trash range. That's a generic down four. Okay, so that does push out a little, right? Not really. It kind of just kept me there, and it still whiffed. Hey, Nick. I've been at it for a while already. You're going to want to watch this back. So, Nick, uh, from what I remember, here's what I had to say. Um, you got some real good whiff punishes, and, right? You got you got some pretty good awareness of your spacing. You get better at that with, with just, you know, experience. Um, you obviously got to practice. We, we both got to practice the juggles. You dropped a shitload of juggles, but you got a lot of really good whiff punishes in. Um, some decision making things uh, they'll come up again. Watch the watch the watch the you know <laughs> archive, but they'll come up again. Down forward four range sucks. You could have ducked that, FYI, that second hit instead of jabbing me out of it. Ah, oh, you ran into that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, you ducked or did something. You probably tried to move there. Oh wow, I'm surprised that second hit whiffed. I wasn't ready for that. Oh, another thing, uh, when you you only connect, you only tried for the VTS low a couple of times. You could have done it way more. Uh, when you go for Oki, you have a tendency to hesitate, and you let me get off the floor fairly often. Marduk is a character that rides momentum off the knockdown really well. It's high risk, but he does. He can ride that momentum really well. So I made I made it a point to pause at certain points and talk about how when I went for Oki, no hesitation. When you went for Oki, you would dash forward backdash and then VTS it's like you were hesitating you weren't sure about what to do so that's probably just lack of knowledge but if you're gonna go for something after the knockdown go for it there's certain things you could react to for example if you commit to a tackle and you notice that they don't get up right away you could cancel the tackle with a sidestep in time but you're still committed to the stance if you do that so it's not like necessarily 100% safe Jackhammer! Back four, one plus two? Now you stayed down. I, gr I ground grabbed you earlier. You still stayed down. That was a lot earlier, though. Remember, when this shallow hits like this, tap up and press three, you get the generic full cost down three. That's guaranteed. You have to tap up first and then press three right after. Uh, not up plus three, up neutral three. Yes, counter. Unchickenable counter. You should uh, use that every once in a while. Not like raw, but off of like heavy block. Yeah, you gotta understand, Marduk is often at negative seven, negative eight and shit. His counter is very good. You need ways to steal turns after those situations, whether it's spacing, which you you were taking advantage of, whether you realize it or not. Uh, he naturally gets a lot of spacing, whether he pushes back or he stays back and just uses his range and stays where he was standing. Um, or, you know, you steal the turn with a counter. Unchickenable counter. Well, we went back here to change the stage. Does it counter all limbs or just punch? It counters kicks and punches. It got buffed in DR. It used you used to have to choose between high and mid, which sucked. Wow, you got a mod, huh? Interesting. Apocalypse. So what I said earlier about oh, I fucked up the ender. Uh, what I said earlier about this launcher in the round start range, like uh, like I did here, is you might have noticed this, but if you were to have just stand blocked here or moved backwards and blocked it, the spacing would have prevented you from launching this. That's why I do this. Generally, if you think this is coming, you got to make it with. Unless you have something that has the range to launch it. Even then, you probably could have uh, reached it. Sometimes. Still, you backdash, and I caught you during the duck animation of your backdash cancel. And then I dropped the back one to it. And I still have that habit of using down forward three as Oki. I gotta drop that shit. Cut it out. Oh, too far. Way too far. See, right there, what I should have done, I should have had forward one plus two or back three plus four in mind at that range. 
Or up forward won't pursue. Might have reached, actually. I don't know. Ooh, interrupted. Nope. You tried. If you got the push there, that makes you think you were trying for the air grab. That would not have worked there. You would have to air grab after the down forward three one two right away. Actually, no. You did down back two counter hit. Maybe I'm wrong. That might have worked there if you have gotten it. <laughs> you did the same thing I did earlier. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I wasn't confident in my spacing. Ugh. I don't know why I got counter hit there. Oh, dude. Whoa. See, the unfortunate thing is I would recommend doing an easier juggle here. But off of that launcher on counter hit, I don't know what the easy juggle would be. That would have killed. Marduk's fucking juggles is so weird in this game. I don't think there is like an easy way out of this one. You have to uh, do the hard shit off of this launcher, specifically. I could give you like easy juggle options off of the other launchers, the standard launchers, but not off of that so much. Hold on, YouTube is being stupid. Continue watching, yes. <sighs> You mean down back 311 and no, that's low damage. Still one around at least. Yeah, well that tracks, so you got lucky there. I tried for it again. Ooh, the delay got you. Oh, that was stupid of me. I could have done way way worse to you there. Yes, so that's a move that you didn't use at all. Add that to your arsenal. Down 2-4. And when you do it, I, talk, I talked about this earlier when you watched the uh, archive. Mardix down 2-4. You should always delay it. There's no reason to not delay it. It's hit confirmable raw. It's safe on block even if you commit. Once upon a time, the second it had counter properties, which is fucked up because it was still hit confirmable. <laughs> Full delay, it still combos. And it pushes back like crazy. So you can set up with punishes with it. But it's a nice chunk of damage when it hits. Still a fucking like top 10 move for Marta, even with that nerf. Yes. Mm. Ah, that was me trying to dash into full crouch headbutt. I didn't get any practice on that before I played it here, but I did it after. I practiced it a bit afterwards. Getting a little better at it. It's not easy to do. So here's the thing. That down back too. I just dashed, like, thinking that you were going to backdash. I, I thought you didn't backdash that. But I was going to say you should always backdash when that's blocked. Never sidestep. Always backdash when that's blocked. You have no reason to not backdash. But you should never sidestep because you're negative a lot. Actually, there, there might be some very situational you know, stuff where you can sidestep. Anyway, drop that. BTS cancel block. Oh, why did I down forward four there? I mean, it worked, but that range is... That move range is shitty. So shitty. Ooh, down forward one does have that little high crush property. You blocked it, so that's a free jab into a juggle. And I got it. Wow. Oh, I'm shocked I got away with that one. There it is. Yes. 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 Ooh, I'm proud of myself with that one. Wait, no. That was a reset. You could have checked that. Hold on a second. Look at the red health. That, yeah, that was a reset. You could have checked that. I was slow. Not proud of myself. <laughs> but you see, I didn't hesitate on my Oki. I knocked you down, down three. I'm going low. Bam. No hesitation. You hesitate if you there's some sort of unique situation you're trying to enforce. That's the only time you should hesitate. Especially when Marduk in that position, he could punch your fucking legs out. Oh, <laughs> I had a feeling that weird delay would have gotten you. The angle fucked that combo up, though, for sure. Ah, too slow. You could launch. We could both launch each other for that. When that was like that. Ah, oh, I tried it again. Ah, I'm shocked you did that shit. That was like the first time I think you did that this whole set. I definitely wasn't ready to punish. 
gotta launch those kinds of whips. <laughs> I've been trying for that for so long. Every time I got hit with a down forward two, that wasn't even a good idea on my part. Every time I got hit by a down four, rather, I would try for, for, to launch you so many times. <laughs> I'm like, please swing after this, and you never did. You kept blocking, and you almost never block punish me. And then of all the times they get hit by, you got hit by it there. That's kind of funny. Yeah, that's negative five on hit. Basically, when that hits, you, you gotta either be thinking sidestep if they do something slow or backdash. Backdash more often than sidestep. And you gotta space that down four out. That's a very abusable poke in this matchup. What's up, Nelly boy? Wow, Brian, how long ago was that? No, but Brian was one of my last ones before season two, man. Are you uh, just not worried about throwing out down forward one there? I don't have a good reason. I was being stupid. Well, at first, it was because Marduk's down four is negative five. So, I'm like daring you to press after. I'm like, press, go ahead, press. And I'm like, instead of playing it safe, I was just doing down forward one. So, I was being stupid, but there was a mindset behind it. But you got to block punish that shit. Jabs. One down, two. Two, one. Or just one, two. Look at you picking the stage, scumbag. <laughs> I used to do that shit in the arcade. Because I always wanted to hear the music of the rooftop stage in DR. So I was the only dirtbag. I'm picking that stage every time I'm up. <laughs> I gave no fucks. I'm surprised nobody ever gave me shit about it. I don't know. I've been told it's because, dude, you're like huge, bro. I'm like, I'm not huge. I did the douchey noob shit. Not like I'm fucking awesome Jaha shit. Look at this. I got all this fat in my arm. Cross jab, you did it again. <laughs> mm. You had the right idea, but... You just threw it out there when I moved forward. Now, I didn't punish you. I should have punished you there. Remember, dash block is great. It baits out unsafe shit fairly often. Or it baits out shit to steal turns. Ooh, the delay got you. Mondo, cool. Who was that? Who was that? Why don't I see who that is? That's weird. Thanks for the follow. I don't see your name, but... Did I turn that off by accident? Let me see. I did it. So, for that reason, you're... You, it didn't... Oh, I know why. Let's move this up. I'll see it the next time. Well, whoever that was, thanks for the follow. <laughs> it's, it, uh, I put the uh, layers wrong, so the YouTube video was overlapping it. Oh, you la- Oh, that was me that landed. Sorry. <laughs> I was about to say, you landed it finally. <laughs> um, huh. uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, so I got the delay. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep, 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 yep. I tried to delay that to catch you. You weren't ready to punish it. You gotta be thinking down three, forward four, something to punish that. <laughs> Why did I get hit by all those jabs? <laughs> oh, I got you. That's pretty good at killing jabs now. It didn't used to be. It didn't used to. It didn't before. <laughs> a forward three. Oh, see? You dashed up way too deep there. That could have worked, but you dashed up and did it so late. Like, that has a lot of range. You don't need to do a deep dash. You need to do, like, a slight step. Like, dash and cancel the dash right away into it. And I don't think that's a great option there. If you're going to go for, uh, like, a mid that hits grounded, forward four. Dash up, neutral, forward four. All right, let's go back. How did I hit you here? Ah, oh, I just delayed it down forward one, and you got hit doing a VTS sidestep or something. Oh, I, I was trying to catch that setup on you. All right. <laughs> I was way too far to do it, though. See? I'm still doing it. Down four is hitting me. All right. It's like, now let me do a safe move this time. <laughs> I was counter hit. Oh, I didn't punish it. I, I don't think I punished one down four properly. Like, generally, you want to crush down four as Marduk. You don't want to block punish it. If you think that is coming specifically. Ooh. Ah, uh, too slow. You had the right idea, but you were too slow. Ooh, it all hits you on normal hit. Yikes. Got him. Delayed it. 
Mash up. Bam, bam. Get the wall. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, I delayed it so much. I forget you don't have to delay that at all. Ooh, you could have launched me there. Off that whiff. There it is. Finally, I did it so rarely against you that I knew it was gonna get, I was going to get away with it there. The low, I mean. Hmm. Remember, Marduk's only armor move, unless I'm forgetting something, outside of uh, stance, when he's standing, his only armor move is a high, right? Yeah. He doesn't have another armor over there, so it's a high. So if you notice that you collided with armor, you gotta be ready. Wow. You attempted to whiff punish. That was pretty fast recovery on that. Let me see that again. Wait. Did I... Did I rewind too much? Or whatever. I fucked up. <laughs> I'm not backdashing. I'm just not respecting you there. And I got paid for it. Uh, let's see that again. Uh, no. No. You know what you could have done there? Another jab. And it might have wall carried me. Right here. Like, you did it. You know, down four, three. One, two. One, two. One. And then I probably would have hit the wall. So the reason you would have been able to do that is because off of this launcher... You get the screw right away. So you could probably get another set of jabs there where usually you cannot. You probably were trying to back one two and then you canceled the uh you pressed the back one two early and you got back two instead. That's my guess. Whip punish. Down three to whip punish. That's the classic. That's Marduk's key fucking game plan. Down three or down four to backdash. That's like That's where you start with Marduk, really. Sidestep down four one got you. Yeah, the angle fucked that up. I didn't get a deep enough dash also. Ooh, he tried. Can't blame you for that one. No pushback when my back is to the wall, so I could I could harass you for blocking that down back too. A lot more than usual at least. How do you do the follow up grab? Which follow up grab? I miss uh, when you were asking that. Follow grab off of what? Face down grab? Oh, you mean the low punch? That comes out naturally now. That's new in this game. Before, he would get a ground grab attempt on you. He would knock you down and then get up. And then you could ground grab or you could stomp. Now he does the burn and he just jumps up and bah, goes to the fucking VT, uh, into mount. Which is really cool looking because that's how it is in MMA sometimes. The hammer ball. <laughs> And uh, unless he hits you in a tip range of the low punch. If he hits you in a tip range of the low punch, then it does the old knockdown. Like the counter hit full crouch, down forward forward knockdown. Which, I don't know if he gets anything guaranteed. Maybe he gets full crouch down forward forward there. I haven't tested. I got a lot of testing to do, but I haven't been playing much Tekken, so... This is Rugo's KOF 2002 theme. It's about the only good song from that game. That game had a shitty soundtrack. There it is. I did it again. I just kept doing it. I never stopped doing it. That was my natural reaction to you hitting me with down four for whatever reason. I guess I was like, oh, he's letting me get away with it. He's not block punishing me, so I'm just going to keep doing it. And if he does anything, he's going to get hit. Down four, three, one, plus two on block. Into the grab. Oh, I try to do the Bronson combo, but Marduk's body shape makes that weird to do. It's possible, but... So the juggle there, the Bronson juggle, is what I did first, right? Which is the headbutt, right? Full crouch, down one plus, down one plus two. Down back two, screw, dash up, down forward three, one. And then up back one plus two. Which puts you in a position where down full crouch, down forward four is guaranteed. And it does more like 73 damage or some shit like that. Which is a shitload of damage for a grab, right? <laughs> yeah, if you think that's fucked up, you should see what Marduk used to do in Tag 2 off of that grab. And Tag 2. There you go. You did it backdash. And I paid the price. You just held back. See what happens? <laughs> if you had backdash here, you would have blocked the tip. And you would have been all the way back there. And I would have gotten away with it. If it weren't for that meddling launcher. 
Now, what were you thinking there? You did the right thing. If you're going to do the 4-4-1-2 four, four, ender, then it ends there. If you do anything after that, you don't get the 4-4-1-2 four, four, ender. It just ends. See? You don't, you don't get it. You, 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 it looked like you finally got it at the right timing, too. Like, had you done it with that exact timing off of the first, the down 4 3 one two, you would have gotten it. It looked good. Oh, delay got you. The string that... Oh, what the fuck? Tag 2, Manny. What are you doing? No bound. The string that King stole. Ooh, exchange. Yeah, I don't blame you for not following that up. <laughs> oh, but I... I oh! <laughs> I blame myself for fucking that up, though. I have a tendency that when I drop something to, like, retest cancel, it's a swinging in case they try to whip punish me. That's plus one, what I just did, by the way, but it pushes out now. This... Me there. That right there, side step two. If you go into VTS, he's plus two, not plus one. He's plus two, so VTS one is a frame trap. But now, you see how far fucking away you are? Makes that plus two kind of useless unless your back is to the wall. So, old habits die hard though, so I still went for it. And I normal hit you on the second hit. So, you're Oki. Alright. When you connect that down back to a normal hit, your OK should be dash up into like a down three or a forward four or go for tackle right away. What did I do here when you hit me? That was your spear and your spear would have killed me. You wouldn't have had to like, there would have been no follow up. I would have been dead from the spear. That's why you have to like pick your OK right away. No hesitation. No hesitation. If you hesitate, you get speared. <laughs> you get you run into something. What's up, Nomakius? What's up, salty snacks? Miss uh, Iron Curtain, what's going on? What do you think is a good time to backdash your side step when you're negative but still safe? Depends on how negative you are, depends on your character, and it depends on the spacing. That's the uh, short answer, right? So if you're like a normal character that can move around, like a normal movement, not like a above average. Generally, you want to sidestep at negative three, maybe negative four, right? And negative five is where you sidestep just goes away. Negative five is the general average of uh, of where jabs will track in both directions. If you try to sidestep, and certain 12 to 13 frame mid pokes will also start to track better. And negative seven is where you pretty much cannot sidestep. Up close. Negative seven is where sidestep pretty much stops, right? For the most part, not always. Right, if you notice that people put you at like negative seven, put themselves at plus seven, plus eight, and then they try to force like a slow mix up, then you could hard read on that and it, based on your own knowledge and practicing, sidestep whichever way you can sidestep, right? But generally, it's not a good idea. Um, when spacing is involved, for example, Marduk down back two, that uppercut, that counter hit uppercut, I think that's negative. Let me look it up real quick. Uh, 3D. Marta. Down back to two. According to the bot, that's negative eight on block. And Marduk's size step is below average, but he has an above average backdash. And the thing about that is it pushes back a little bit, that uppercut, and it keeps Marduk where he's standing, and it has good range. You combine those three things, you get him to block like the tip of that, you could backdash. You could always backdash in general because backdashing is safe. If you backdash and you could block during backdash, you could cross block during backdash if you need to. So there's no reason to kind of not backdash unless it fucks up your space. So down back two is a perfect example. Anytime you poke with Marduk, essentially, you kind of have to backdash because he's always negative eight. He's always kind of negative seven. Let's see. Down back two is negative eight, right? Down, uh, let's see. Marduk, right? Marduk, down plus two. Down two is negative seven force crouch. Uh, Marduk, uh, down four plus two. Down four plus two is negative seven on block. Marduk, down plus four is negative five on hit. Down plus one is negative, uh, down plus three is negative one on hit. Or did they nerf that? Negative one, yeah, negative one on hit. Uh, that's the thing, you know, Marduk doesn't have that 13, down four, four is I believe negative nine on block. Uh, and it has shit range, so you shouldn't be poking like that anyway. So Marduk is not one of those characters that's going to be doing a generic down forward one poke and moving around. 
Marduk is a character where you have to use space. So that's why the tip range of down three is so important. You see us both doing it. Like Nick might be doing it naturally, but that's the way you kind of got to play Marduk. You start with the low poking because Marduk's low poking tracks really well to both directions. Same kind of play when adding pressure to your plus along. Yes, Miss Iron Curtain, you'd be correct. Is this thing gonna be in your archives? When you want? Yeah, I'm probably, I'm gonna upload this. I'm gonna upload this to the YouTube for sure. Which uh, let me see my camera over there. Spacing messes with things. If you have good spacing, you could sidestep stuff at like negative nine. You'd be shocked. Especially if you're like Lily or something like that. Because Lily has the best sidestep in the game. Lily actually is able to sidestep Marduk's uh, low pokes in at least one direction. While pretty much every other character in the game cannot sidestep that. Unless it's an extreme situation where they're already at an angle off axis. But in an on axis situation, Lily is able to sidestep Marduk's down four down four to her right, Marduk's left, basically away from the move. And Lily is able to sidestep Marduk's down three to her left, Marduk's right, away from the move again. I don't think any other character can do that in an on-axis situation. Outside of those weird moves that have sidestepping built into them, th those kind of break the rules. See, once again, uh, uh, Nick, look at this. This isn't really like okay necessarily, this is me, me noticing, oh shit, I dropped it. Contingency plan. I moved to realign. Pretty much guessing you were going to tech in that direction because that's away from the wall. And then, bam, down three. No, uh, almost no hesitation. I dashed in your face, down three. You could have low parried this. You might have been able to while standing one this because of my dash slowing it down. But I just ran up and took my turn, basically. I could have probably timed that better to really make it frame tight so you cannot even low parry it. There, I just did a crazy whiff all the way across the screen for no reason. No, that's the uh, old school shit. That's DR shit right there. That's 5.0 shit, too. Did he have that in 5.0? Well, definitely DR. That's the old habit. Down forward to that, crushes jabs, and tracks in both directions. <laughs> but that headbutt is a uh, negative 11, I believe, on lock. Ooh, that spacing is not favorable. I got to not do that. I was like, press after this. And that was like me keeping it safe, because that's plus two on block. And the down 4 three range is so shitty in this game. Look at this. Bam. You jab. Right? And then, oh, backdash. I'm lucky I committed to that second button because you would have hit me. For sure. I'm surprised I punished that. Yeah, see? Miss Iron Curtain, look at this. That low that he hit me with. Right? Negative 5. That puts Marduk at negative 5 when he connects that. So I go for a 17 frame mid. He tries to sidestep, right? And not only does he try to sidestep, Marduk is generally bad at sidestepping in that specific direction. So now we have a matchup specific thing. We have the semi-universal rule of negative five. Things start to get very difficult to sidestep, including slow things. So this is a situation where if he were Lily, this would have missed here. But since he's Marduk, definitely not gonna miss. Bam, and he's dead. Hey Manny, how good do you think his VTS sidesteps? I think it's awful. I haven't tested in this game, but it's never been particularly great. It might be better in regards to the fact that VTS ducks highs. So if he's ducking high during the whole transition, the VTS movement, and he's still like ducking highs that whole, then it might have more uses now. It looks cool. <laughs> it looks cool. You know where you, you actually use that? Canceling off of the tackle, mid-tackle. If uh, the first half of the tackle animation, you can cancel it with a sidestep in that direction. And you have to do that to cancel Corner Beast also. If you want to cancel Corner Beast into stand, you either have to press a button or you have to sidestep first and then you can press 3 plus 4. I'm just gonna go through this whole thing at this point. Why stop now? Remember, always be thinking about down three, down four. Uh, I don't know who's gonna win out here. It should be me, because my move is 14 frames here, his is 16. 
but I have a tendency to like always lose out on fast moves and stutter around. And we fucking exchanged, so I was two frames slow, I guess. <laughs> yeah, he tried, but the exchange fucks up that combo always. Oh, man. <laughs> That's the no respect right there. BTS, uh, while standing one, BTS cancel onto the low. That's actually super high risk, because I'm like negative six or some shit like that here. The only reason that this can work... Look at... Ah, fucking DDP yoga, stretching the back out. Uh, the only reason this can actually work against people that know the matchup is because the two follow-up is a counter hit move, so... It's not, it's semi-real, but it's pretty gimmicky. Ooh, I timed that so well. I usually fuck that up. That is so hard to time what I just did there. Unfortunately, this is the kind of shit I'm talking about. Extreme angles like that. I don't think you could have sidestepped really, though, because that's plus nine on hit, I believe. So, I was good for that. Once again, VTS, uh, cancel off of the while standing one, and I followed it up. This time with the mid instead of the low. Boom, while standing one, you blocked it, VTS. You went jab this time, crushed. Oh no, you went for something slow there. What the fuck were you trying to do there? I did the low. What the hell were you trying to do? Oh, you did a down four, but you delayed it, I guess. Remember, when I do this mix up, when I'm thinking this mix up, I don't hesitate at all. I don't give you room to think unless I'm trying to do it for a reason where I have a read on the opponent. By default, I'm going from one move to the next. Because there's already a big enough gap in there, you know? I don't want to make that gap bigger. I could get interrupted when I do, you know what I'm saying? Ah, I was like, oh, let's see if he wake up kicks me on the whiff, and then I could counter hit it. Ooh, too much spacing. You whiff punish with your own down four, which is fine. I like to whiff punish with down four also. Just in case, where I'm too slow where they can block it, I'll make it a low instead. Oh, I gotta stop that. That shit sucks. But you see what I'm talking about, Miss Iron Curtain? The down back two. That's the move I'm talking about. I'm already moving back, right? So even though this move is negative eight or whatever, it's gonna push me back further. Back. See? Look at this spacing right now. Negative seven, negative eight, not even negative ten is gonna matter at this point, even though negative ten is unsafe. With this kind of spacing, it doesn't fucking matter. If I were to press something here, he could launch me. But he didn't move back. That's the key. He has to move back. Because he didn't move back and just held back, he's blocking now. There, he did it. He didn't launch though. Actually, if he were slow with the launch, I would have counter hit him then. So that was fine. Let's see it again. Rewind. First time, he blocked it, right? But second time, boom. He backs up. And I do something with very bad range. <laughs> now here, if he had done the launcher, the down forward one, Unless he was really sharp, if this second hit probably would counter hit him, but it is a high. So whether he realized it or not, he got away from the high there. And he could have launched me, but you know, instead he just gets this little cocky kick here. Oh, but unfortunately that cocky kick is negative two or maybe negative four on on hit, so I just down four and one. And now he's dead. Now you see what you what I did here in Nicropolis? I noticed that I exchanged with you, so I go for the one two VTS. I don't try to do forward forward two, none of that shit. That's just like reacting to the situation and adapting. Like that's a common thing that I do with Marta where I think that something's wrong. Let me try to get something easy where if I drop it, I can VTS cancel, still maintain pressure. And that's one, two VTS, right? So boom, I hit you exchange, one, two. That's the, right away I react. One, two is the thing I'm gonna do here. And it goes to VTS. Had I, had I dropped it, I would've just canceled to standing, but I hit you, so VTS forward one, four. You get the combo. <laughs> yes. That's me being at negative eight, I think, and just countering. Stealing the turn, basically. Because that doesn't push out as much on block. Oh, I tried to delay it. Too much delay. We exchanged. That would have been a launch, though. Ooh. Nice. All right. That's fine. I mean, that was a back one two situation that you didn't do, but. There it is. High crush on it. I should have down three. That's an old habit. Down back three on Oki is not great anymore. Unless you're going to go for that tackle setup, I think. Nah. Sorry. <laughs> I've been around the block. I've talked about this. But a lot of people are going to fall for that shit. A lot of people that are not used to this matchup, just straight up, I'm just going to go into tackle from all the way back here. Just interrupt that shit. And I did that because it corkscrews. Because it would have hit him airborne. 
There it is. You back that, so you weren't going to launch that. But, you know, you went for something weird there. That's a counter hit. Holy tool. A slow one. Oh, fuck. What was I thinking? I mean, it worked out for me, but that was not good of me. Oh, I wasn't ready. For oh, I was ready. I'm, I'm kind of shocked. I usually I would hesitate in a situation like that. I'm swinging with crazy shit from far away. I'm trying to be really swinging with like jabs. Oh, I wasn't ready for that whiff. You see how you see, look at the my, my move choice from all the way back here. I'm going for like specifically long range shit. See? Just chipping away. See from that range you probably won't jab punish that. That's negative ten. So I had you try. Oh, yeah, whatever. I had already committed to dashing it down three, so I wasn't gonna get a full whip punish there. Yeah, yeah. see? One of the things you should be thinking if you're going to dash up is dash block. Uh, another thing you should be thinking is trying to get a 1 plus 3 grab. It, whether it's successful or not, 1 plus 3 grab from Marta switches sides. But that would mean you would have to dash up and commit. And I was looking for that, obviously. This is the wall carry. Oh, no. Ugh. Oh, I got you. Wait, did I get you here? Ah, oh, you didn't. So the thing is, I didn't have to commit. I have to wait for you to tech our reaction. This is when I started going for the Bronson tech. <laughs> I think I eventually landed on you. And I got hyped. I kept fucking it up, but I eventually landed on you. Ooh, with punish. See? Down three. This is Marduk. That's Mar Marduk in a nutshell. Down three. Back dash. Oh, you whiff. Bam. It should have been a launch, but still. That's how you play Marduk. That's Marduk Neutral right there. Always. Marduk Neutral. Space out. If you let Marduk space you out, you kind of done fucked up, depending on the character. Leo could kind of do that, because Leo's a pain in the ass. That was weird. Oh, here's where I start keep, I keep trying to go for it, right? Yeah, uh, I didn't do it there, though. Ooh, I should have committed. Wall bounce, that was not what you do that close, but whatever. I'm just like not respecting the frames at all because I'm like, he knows about the second hit. Just keep pressing after it. <laughs> that was funny. Side step, side step, side step. <laughs> real line, real line, real line. You're thinking, keep my back to the wall. I'm thinking, I'm going to chase you down and kill you with a poke because <laughs> he's dying. Ooh, bad whiff. Yeah, I keep trying to go for that setup and I put myself to, to the wall. I got crazy. I'm going to land it eventually, though. I remember. Oh, too far. Damn, it's annoying that he doesn't get too many good consistent things off of that anymore. No, you can launch me here. As a matter of fact, you can take my back. Uh, you can get a down back too. That's a launch for you, but you weren't ready. Oh, counter hits. That's a good move. funny how we ended up on a stage again for like a long set of matches <laughs> it's funny because I can't back dash away from his down three in that situation I have to hit the tip always remember that in Tekken for just about every character a standing one jab recovers insanely fast it's almost a free whiff like, if they were to whiff punish out with a launcher, it means they committed to the launcher. They can't react and whiff punish out with a launcher, really. Like, it's very difficult, so I should say. They can, but it's very difficult. Oof. Ah, oh, he tried. It's a weird It's a weird angle to get the, the, the follow-up on this. Like, I don't even have a good answer on what you could have done there. Not yet, at least. Down back 3 one, one is my only answer on how to get a... Bam, right? Down back 311 probably is my only guess. Down back 311, I it would probably put me at an angle so you could dash up down forward 3 1, up back 1 plus 2. It would probably work there. That's safe. Not only is that safe, I'm never ready for how much that pushes back. I didn't have to back dash there. Ooh, I like what you did there. I don't know if you thought that I was going to low punch you, but that would have totally caught me had I low punched you. Right here? Had I low punched you. See, you committed. You committed. I respect it. Now, it's very risky to whiff on Marduk in this situation. You're lucky I was already getting up. 
Because had you whiffed, then I would have fucking low punched your ass. <laughs> but had I committed right away to a low punch, you would have BAM! Counter hit me. We're just whiffing all day long in front of each other. It's funny. Oh! Now, the really hard to do thing, the high level Marty thing to do there is a guaranteed full cross down forward four using VTS. VTS down forward four. Not an easy thing to do, but it is guaranteed in that spe uh, specific situation. And that is probably his one biggest buff in this game. It's a very good buff. You had the right idea, but you did the slow move. Here, look at my health, right? One of the things you need to consider when you're going to do a whiff punish is what's the opponent's health? Do I have to do a launcher and risk fucking up a juggle to kill him? If the answer is no, down back two. See right here, down back two. I'm in kill range for it, right? Right? You got ready. You, you thought, oh, he's going to wake up kick, but you did the wrong thing. Down back two. You didn't have to do the slow shit. Oof. You didn't respect it that time. <laughs> Good shit. I got away with that so many times. While standing one, VTS... Launch? No, you backdash. You couldn't launch it. Counter it. There you go. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yeah. All right. All right. That's good. Ooh, no. No. Down forward three, one. At the wall. And then down back two, or down forward one plus two, or ground grab. Don't do down four three one two, and then you went to VTS and stood there. I'm guessing you were like, "Fuck, I fucked up," and then you just stayed stuck there. Guess why? You could cancel VTS into crouching, so I stayed down. You could have been down forward and then did one plus two to headbutt me on my own, headbutt me on the floor. The head's grounded. Bah, 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 bah. What am I doing? That was a tag two shit. Ugh, that doesn't work in the game. <laughs> delay it, delay it. Oh, I fucked up the headbutt. Are you kidding me? That's the easiest situation to land it in. That's their own block. Their own block into ooh. Their own block into a um I wonder the way you hit me there, I wonder if you could have did down back 3-1-1 here. Probably not. You probably could have down forward me for free though. For like extra damage. Oh, you tried. That looks slow though. So you might have been able to get it if you were faster. Ah. That's a really good weird rage drop. He doesn't even need to follow. Just the beginning of it is so good. Uh-oh. Is this it? Did he tech? He teched? He teched. Oh, I was slow. So the idea is you have to react to that. You could react to the tech and get the get the uh, follow-up. The uh, guaranteed shit. So I was slow there, so you jabbed me out of it. Uh, typically, uh, back turn standing jabs are eight frames. I normally do four forward, one plus two to switch sides. Uh, all right, but forward one plus three has a lot more range. Where can I find this YouTube video? Oh, you got that already. At this point, I think I was starting to really pay attention to the low poke spacing and punish game. I don't think I, I, I usually don't confirm that, so I kind of just throw it out there. I shouldn't do that. Oh, I was decades slow now. When you're dashing, oh, you just committed to the dash. You could have blocked that. <laughs> That's the no respect launcher right there. Yeah, you broke it. All right, that was your launch, but you were too slow. A four and one plus two. It's a weird choice there. I'm guessing you were just panicking and you didn't know what to do at the time. A four and one plus two is a move I'm not using much in general. I should use it more. That is a juggle starter safe on block tracks to Marduk's left side. It's kind of fast and it has decent range. And it's also a better way to uh, punish um, slow recovering highs when you duck them than while standing three. Uh, I think you generally get more damage off of that. I think. I think. I think. I, don't know. I gotta look that up. So many new things. Maybe it's the same. I don't know. Oh, you just got hit by a second for no reason. This is it? Does he tech? He tech spot. Oh, and I fucked it up again, but I got you with the last hit. By the way, that last hit, and I fucked it up. That last hit is negative 15 on block now. Got nerfed. You could have launched that. Down three, down three. Because I know you have to dash to, like, really hit me. Well, you don't have to, but... 
It's a high chance that you will. No. When you're off axis with a down forward one, you need to react and just do like one, two. Don't do that forward, forward, two. That's the thing that comes with experience, so I don't blame you. See that? Like, it's very obvious. He's like, down forward one. It's very, like, you get the hang of this. You realize this is off axis. I need to do something different. And for Marduk, I would suggest one, two, VTS, forward, one, four. Dash, it's down forward, three, one, two. Or four, four, three, two for wall carry. And then, you know, whatever. Oh, I delayed it, but you jabbed. <laughs> If I didn't delay, you would have been juggled there. Mm. See? Once again, no hesitation on my part. Now, you could have whiff punished with that low kick, but you delayed it. And because you delayed it, you got a counter hit on it instead, but you weren't ready to convert that. Don't worry, I'm there ramp too. You could have converted that with a cross cancel, down back 3 1 1. Do you even need a cross cancel of that? I'm not sure. See right there? No hesitation on my part. I'm like, if he wake up kicks now, I'm going to nail his ass. And then you didn't. So I guessed wrong, and then I was like, Let me, let's see if he wake up kicks now. He did a wake up kick, I noticed it. So I tried to react, hit him with the headbutt, the full cross I want for two. If he stays down, then you wake up kick, then you counter hit that. And you didn't do anything with it. And you did a really weird choice here. I don't know what you were, <laughs> what you were going for there. Ooh, I canceled it, so I would have hit you if I didn't. Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Oh, no, you got the counter hit. You got the counter hit. You could have did down back two even. You didn't even have to launch. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. Does he lose because of it? I hope not. That was a weird choice. Why did I dash it to that? I guess I already committed. Low is coming. And then I just did that. No. Uh -uh. Not like that. This is not tag two, Manny. You don't do that there. Ooh, that hits at the warmer? Maybe it's because Marty's big. You see that? That's one two is always my contingency plan. Almost always. If I get a float of some sort, let me try to one two, and if it hits him, I'll be ready. If it doesn't, I'll still be ready. So here I, here I was like, alright. I got this 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 happened right here, right? I get the mid, I float you. Right? Let me see if one two fixes it. It doesn't. So here, I could VTS cancel to play it safe, or I could assume that you're going to see me whiff and do something, which is usually what I do. I always assume that people are going to mash when they tech. And in this case, you actually did. Usually, you didn't. But in this case, you did. So I bam. And you, no, you didn't. Oh, I thought that hit you. You actually didn't. So you just fell for the second hit when you could have ducked in and killed me. Or did a lot of damage. And that second hit does so much by itself. Ooh. Yeah, we exchanged there, so you couldn't get it. It should have been a launch, but still. I noticed that that started working on you. I figured the dash would throw you off, and I would connect it. That's why I did it. Is this where I finally landed? <laughs> I tried for it so many times. Oh, yeah. Oh, feels good. Yes. <laughs> Look at all that health you lost. Oh, man. If I optimize that just a little bit more, that's death. That's kill. That's the kill right there. Just a little bit optimization on that combo, and that's death. Man, what could, I, what could I have done? Down back two? If I added a down forward 3-1, I probably would have killed you, I think. Right here, boom, down forward 3-1. Instead, I went right for it. So in case you're wondering what happened there, this game has this weird-ass system where, uh, I don't know if it was in tag team, but I know it's in this one where if you get a wall combo on the side that recovers fast off of a weird-ass wall like here, where the walls are like, like segmented like it is here, teching makes you tech back turn and not only that it's scary because i get that on reaction i react to seeing you tech i get that on your back if i don't fuck it up that's what makes that scary really scary and if you stay down i do whatever the fuck i want to do to you basically so i can react to you teching or react to you staying down It took me so many fucking tries. It was that, like the sixth time before I finally landed that shit. I mean, it's so obvious I was going for something. If you see somebody doing that kind of thing to you, like sidestepping and see your back like that for a combo, it makes it kind of, oh, this is Prince's Ling, and he's playing his Ling Xiaoyu, and he's kind of sidewalking while, while I'm at the wall, doing an incomplete wall combo. 
He's probably going for some fucking deceptive bullshit here, right? <laughs> That's the problem with those kinds of setups, really. Where one option is super strong, the other option is like, well, whatever. I hit him away from the wall. The Ling one is more fucked up because she keeps you in front of her if you stay down. And resets the situation, basically. It's fucked up. I hate that kind of shit. Even though I didn't use it. Ooh, I could have probably gotten something there. Off of that float. Oof. I remember that move existed. Oh, you could have launched me there. There it is. You started to interrupt me. You're just interrupting me with the wrong stuff. Oh, yes. Yeah, so you could duck that. I very rarely use it, though, so. BTS forward one, I think, is only, like, negative three on block. So it's pretty good. I think. I gotta check, gotta check that shit. Oh, once again, you did the right space this so perfectly to bait a wake of kick. But you did nothing with it. So it's like you have the right idea for the space, and you just don't have the, you know. Everything else, uh, all the other Tetris pieces have fit into place to clear the line. Ah, you, you, you're trying to do what I do. <laughs> Except you went for the wrong mid. If you're going to go for a mid there, do, do forward four. Grounded hitting mid that's relatively safe on block. Negative 11, I think, with pushback. Yeah, no. Nah, when you're poke, when you're poke, when you're at poke health, like that, like putting yourself in negative five is like giving me a free turn. Oh, that's a classic that I just did to you there. See, I know it's the angle. Change the juggle. That's the kind of gimmick you think. See, I did down three. If I had gone mid, it would have been forward four. Oh, interrupt. I, I tried to do the down four shit to you, right? Yeah, there it is. Headbutt. No, I'm at negative five. <laughs> that only crushes highs and tracks. Oh, you missed it. I could have. Oh, I did launch you. See how bad that is? I was super slow with that, and I still launched you with a 17 frame launch. It's a bad juggle to drop. That's kind of why I don't like it. So that's guaranteed after that. A guaranteed attempt. I could get a stomp for guaranteed damage or a guaranteed um, ground grab attempt off of that. That's also plus one on block that move. That's sidestep one plus two. Good move, but the range is bad. They have to like whiff something basically. Like, or stand still. If they move back at all when you do it, you're gonna whiff. And it's a huge whiff. Used to be plus five in DR. They nerfed the hell out of that shit. Oh, yes. That's a bad whiff you just did. And then went for the big whiff punish. Not the down forward one, the down forward three. Nah, uh, the wall's like right there, so. See, I did the mistake that you did, but I didn't like to stay in BTS. I was like, oh, I fucked up and I was ready and I canceled and I tried to do something and I did a weird thing, but it worked. That wasn't a good idea on my part, but it worked out. I interrupted you uh, Waco kicking and you guessed wrong on the ground break. I just wanted to make sure it was for the kill, so I did a ground grab instead of down back two. I was hoping we were going to ask Walsh and Jason to be fixing this game. You're kidding me. It's Tekken. They never fix that shit. Forever Uryu, do you have a reaction video of yourself when Marduk was announced? I don't, and I wish I did, man. I was watching the tournament, and I was screaming at the fucking top of my lungs, dude. No joke. No fucking joke. All right, looks like we got, like, one or two matches left here. Keep in mind that I've been criticizing myself, not as much lately, but I'm not that Nick is here. I'm focusing more on what he's doing than what I'm doing. But I'm also criticizing myself when I'm watching this. You can always learn something watching your matches back, especially if you play a certain way. Hold back the gimmicks. Try to work on your spacing. No matter what like, level player you're fighting, if a new person or an experienced person, there's something to learn. As long as you approach it with the right mindset. See? Perfect example. Here's, here's self-criticism, right? I'm always, like, talking about down back two to backdash and down three to backdash. I have a tendency to just mindlessly backdash cancel multiple times. I got to remember, when you block this, I just need one. Not two. If I had just done stop there, you, you would have been with punish, right? But I did another one. That's just, like, a mindless, natural thing. And you don't think about that until you watch it back and really put, you know, your focus on this kind of shit. There's no reason to backdash more than one time out of that unless there's some sort of crazy specific thing going on off of a specific read. And that, that's like just me kind of like 
guessing, you know. <laughs> I can't give you even give you an example. Generally, you should only be backdashing once. Generally, off of that. And then if you block something, you block something. If they do something long range, if they dash up in your face, they dash up in your face, and you lost your turn. Next time you think they're gonna dash up in your face, swing again. It's risky, but you know that's that. They're layers, layers. So many like wasted with punish opportunities when I just mindlessly backdash against them. And I know, I know. That that's a thing that a ton of players do. Because you hear tech and backdash cancel, backdash cancel, backdash cancel. And you got obsessed with it, you practice it, you get a good backdash cancel, right? But you don't think about how to really use it effectively. You just go, oh, create space. I'm safe, create space, and then let me think this through. You're not thinking you're not thinking moves uh, you know, multiple moves ahead. One, you're not even thinking one move ahead when you do that. You're just thinking create space. If something whiffs, try to whiff punish it, but you're not thinking put myself in the Positioning to get the whiff punish. And with this character especially who's built around that, you fucking need that shit. Right there. Boom! It whiff! Oh! Prove my own fucking point. Prove my own point. That should have been a down forward one, but whatever. I'm keeping it safe. Down back to. Do I follow it up? You're damn right I do. Oh, this time I'm like, alright. He's not gonna answer with a button. Force the fucking party time, you know? See? No hesitation, Nick. Have in mind what you're gonna do when the thing that you do connects. Have the next move in mind. Have the next setup in mind. If, you, if you're thinking, let me play it safe, and I wanna bait something, dash and get into that position. Don't like kinda just move around and like, oh, he didn't do what I think he was gonna do. Have a contingency plan. If the opponent doesn't do what you, they, what they, what you thought they are gonna do, you know, sure, sometimes it's gonna fall apart on you, but every once in a while, think, oh, if he stays down, this. If he gets up, that. That just comes with experience, really. Oh, I was not ready for that counter hit at all. That comes with experience, though, so it's like, you know, oh, you could have punished that. I forget how bad that is on block, though. That delay got you. That's a good string. Giga stole that string, but Mardix is still better. Ooh, crouch jab. I probably fucked this up, don't I? 4 4 3 2? Yes, wall? Yes. Oh, do I get it? Yeah, no, I, I fucked up the timing. I still went for it, though, and you got countered because I really thought it was going to connect, but I was slow. That's what you got to do, though. You got to time that so it hits them right when they touch the floor, basically, or right before, and then they get to guarantee full cross down 4 4. And it's 40 damage, just like the other wall, uh, ground ground, which is why it's scary. Before in tag one, tag two, sorry, uh, the one ground grab gave him something guaranteed, but it was shitty, and he gave him a re splat, but it was insanely fucking hard to do. You could resplat with down one plus two. And it was fucking it's not even worth fucking doing. It was a pain in the ass, right? And it was low damage too. So you had to do like gimmicky shit. Like you could supercharge off of that and get a supercharge mix up, which is actually better in this game, the options, but or you could do forward three plus four, three plus four. Which is the running unblockable cancel. You run under them and then the camera fucking flips the fuck out and then you switch sides. Gimmicky shit basically. Now he gets a guaranteed follow up that. Right here, I usually sidestep right with it to help with the timing. But right there, I fucked up. I might have hit you. Did I hit you? No, I didn't. I think you took damage from falling on the floor. I whiffed it, so I was like a fraction too slow. I think. I think. And then that's guaranteed. But you got counter hit instead. I still went for it, thinking I hit you, and I fucked it up. Oh, I wasn't ready to punish that. See, you didn't move back there. I didn't whiff, but you didn't move back there. You gotta move back. One time at least. Puh, guaranteed. Ah, that was crazy. I'm, I'm partying here. You could kill me for this one. Oh, now I'm just like, just do something. <laughs> I, I don't have any good reason. This is just me doing stuff for the sake of doing stuff. I don't have any good reads here. This is just bad on my part. No, okay. I tried, but I guess on exchange it didn't work. Safe on block. I think I'm surprised I didn't try to counter that. You could duck the second hit of that string, that down back 3-1. The last hit is uh, negative 9. Down 4 3 sucks so hard now. Oop. Well, you got something at least. FYI, up forward 3 on normal hit does have guaranteed follow up, but it is not easy. It's once again BTS down forward 4. See? Sidewall splat with Marduk, that's what you generally do. You might be able to sidestep and get down back 2, but I don't know about that shit. 
But that is reliable. The damage is worse now, though, unfortunately. Ooh, that was an attempted whiff punish, but I committed to the mix-up instead. It's not that fast. What do we got? We got one more here. Kind of got to pee. Bat 4 is one of those that doesn't really push back and moves Marduk forward. It's kind of why I don't like that Pokemon. People like asking me, like, it's a good move, especially for him. He kind of needs it because of the range. But it's like negative 8 or some shit, and he moves forward. There's no pushback. You can't really do anything after it other than counter if you want to steal a turn back. Look, see? Oh, it does push back a little, actually. Not really, no. It's like that fake pushback where you, like, teleport forward after. It's stupid. Look at how this looks right now. Let me try to frame by frame this so you can see how stupid this looks. I never got this. See, he's all the way here, and then when he stands, because I'm moving forward when I step down, right when I put my right foot down, it's going down pretty much where it is. See, that spacing is shit. If he kept himself back where he was when he starts that move, that would be awesome. When would you want to use back three and back four? Back three, you could kind of be random with. I'm not going to lie with you. L lie to you. Uh, it's a new thing to me. Back three, I used a little bit before, but, like, it's an amazing move now. So I'm kind of, I really don't know. You could kind of be random with it, but it is linear, so you got to be careful. Um, when would you use down one plus two? Down one plus two, the uh, old school down one plus two shit was sidestep right down one plus two. Because Down 1 Pursuit by itself, in Tag 2, they buffed the High Crush property, but it's still, like, the window for High Crushing is weird. It's something that I can't really show you in training, but during matches, it happens. You, could, you, you just get hit out of it with highs. Like, you know, I don't know what it is about that move. Uh, I don't know what frame it crushes on. Maybe it crushes on later frames, or it only crushes for a short amount of time. But I get hit out of, out of it when I think high. When I think high, when I use it because I think a high is coming, more often than not, I've gotten hit out of it. But when you slice up right into it, it's pretty dang evasive. There's something about the animation, I guess. Uh, but generally, I don't really use it, to be honest with you. Because like even then, you like in tag two, that kind of had it kind of had more use because it was a tag a launcher. But then he has launch into two down one plus two, and he could tag out of that, and then the, his opponent could convert off of that. So it's like kind of rendered that obsolete, you know. <laughs> so I don't know, whatever. Uh, it's kind of this move that's like it's not a bad move, but I just I don't I don't like it. You know, I'm sure other people are better off at using it. Oh, that's a crazy thing to just do from that range. I make that mistake often too, so I don't blame you. It looks like it it looks like it has more range than it really does. I'll put it that way, because he moves forward with it and shit. But mm, look at this. What's, what's my what's my spacing here on this? I'm obviously not thinking about that move. And that's the, cra the crazy thing. If I could whiff punish with a down forward three when I'm not even thinking about whiff punishing that move, that means it's, uh, you don't want to fucking whiff it. Look at this. Oh, you did that. Oh, okay. So you started doing it when I was closer, and then I happened to have backdash at that moment. So I kind of got just got lucky off of it. Right? Look at this. I dash forward. All right? Frame by frame. And then you're like, oh, he dashed forward up forward three. Right? That's what happened. And then, no, no, no. We do a little bit of moving still. I have a tendency to do that forward, back, dash, uh, dash, forward, back, dash kind of thing. Oh, no. You started it way after that. You started it after I did, I dash forward, and then I dash back, and then that's when you started it. So I guess you thought I was going to dash forward twice? <laughs> you know? I think you're just reacting to my movement too much. And you got to remember, this isn't Street Fighter. Street Fighter, you could react to, ja to dashes and punish them. In second, dashes are like... There's a small window, obviously, where they're moving forward. And we're where I'm moving forward and I'm pressing forward. And you could hit me out of that. Like that fucking Leo down forward 2 shit that Milo was doing, right? But, um, you know, you got to remember, in second, you could just cancel your dash. Like, very fast. Look at this. I'm all the way back here. And I'm also kind of moving forward. That's the funny thing. And look at that. No bueno. 
he just ran up to me and asked to get launched. So I was like, all right, I'll oblige. Bam, bam. For the 17 frame launcher. <laughs> uh, uh, four, four, no, no, don't four, four, three, two. Yeah. Oh, what was I thinking there? I wasn't thinking. Oh, that was a reaction to you whiffing. That's a really good buffer VTS. The fact that it crushes highs consistently now, that was not a thing before. But before, he was able to block uh, highs and mids during VTS. Only off of the transitions, not raw VTS. Like regular VTS, he couldn't block during it at all. I've heard that now he blocks lows out of it, but I haven't tested. <clears throat> but before, if he did one suit VTS and stayed there, you would block highs and mids. And I just went for armor there. On big characters, on big characters, when you connect that at the wall like that, I think you get down back three one. Man. Down back three one one all hits them. I think. On Kuma, I know it does. Ooh, no, that's not how you punish that. That's a uh, negative twelve. Even if he does the third hit, that's negative twelve. You can interrupt. Uh, uh, down back two. No. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, let me try it off of this. No, that's not how that works. <laughs> Ooh, that's negative three, I think. I should probably consider that spacing more next time that gets blocked. Nah, I like what I did there. <coughs> and then I whiffed this, and you could have launched me, but you did down forward two. My guess is you were thinking down forward two launcher like Leo, or like most characters, but you're Marduk, so you did down forward two instead, and you got like that gut punch. I think that shit is actually called gut check. Or is it down back 3-4? That's the old gut check. Yeah, I was too far away. I tried to do the setup. <laughs> and you did tech too. That's funny. See? Oh, see? I haven't been thinking about the spacing of that move. I believe that's negative 3, and it pushes out. I should be thinking about that. Ooh, you delayed your jab and got lucky. Yep, one, two, bam. Plus five. That's the last one, right? That's the last match. What do I, what's going on in the chat here? Up forward three is negative two on block. Once upon a time, it was zero on block in second six. Gigas up forward three is negative three. Didn't that get buffed? It used to be negative five, I think. The unfortunate thing about Gigas is, is um, up forward three doesn't mean shit for him, really. Because he can't move. <laughs> the difference between Gigas and Marduk is Marduk can sidestep and he can backdash. So Marduk is okay with up forward two. He's kind of okay with up forward... Uh, sorry, he's okay with negative two. He's kind of okay with negative three also. Gigas is not okay. Gigas isn't even okay with negative one. Yeah, um, he can block lows in VTS and knocks you out of VTS after blocking. Good shit, thank you. Up forward three only low cr only low crushes, but it crushes at later frames compared to other moves. Correct. If you look at the up forward three animation, he does a little hop step. So during that small ass window, you could go over lows. It's just kind of more like icing on a cake. I wouldn't bank on it as a low crush though. Nope, nope, I wouldn't do it. Uh, if you're gonna low crush from Marduk, up forward four, safe on block, guaranteed stomp. Uh, semi free, uh, free ground throw attempt for people that don't know that spring kick beats it and toe kick beats it. <laughs> so you got that nice bonus too. Uh, feels bad, man. I play Gigas. Well, you made your own grave on that one for playing that character. <laughs> uh, when do you usually throw out an up forward three if you're not intending to low crush? Up forward three is just another move you could kind of be random with. It's an approaching counter hit tool, right? So think about it. You do use it from spacing. You just don't use it from that crazy ass spacing that he whiffed it at, right? But I would say like at the same range where you're doing down three, up forward three is good for that, from that range. But keep in mind that one back dash from a character that has a decent back dash can fuck that move up. You can also kind of do it in the opponent's face, but the, the problem with that is he's considered airborne during it. So if they happen to poke you, you will be floated. So uh, keep that in mind too. I still cheese around with Gigas sometimes. I just play him like an asshole. I mean, Gigas is fun to play because the unique aspects of Gigas. I'm not going to lie. I had fun playing him sometimes. Even though I think he sucks, I think his design is lame. 
Marduk wasn't in the game at the time, so it was like a slap to my face <laughs> that my mains animations were on this fucking lame ass character. So yeah, um, yeah. Uh, um, before I go for big dinner, any last questions here? It doesn't have to be Marduk related either. Thirty-two damage, knockdown, ten frame Punisher. Yeah, that they nerfed to be negative seventeen, so you can't be random with it anymore. <laughs> that sucks. They didn't have to make that move that bad on block. Fuck. Well, you can learn Marduk now. He's here. Marduk has the same issues he's always had, right? Marduk is a character with a lot of cool tools and a lot of cool and fun to use shit, but he's in the game where other characters just outshine the fuck out of him. That's always been the problem with Marduk, really. Uh, Tag 2 was the best Marduk ever because the game around him supported his, his uh, strengths a lot. But this game, he still has the crazy damage. He's always, he's always kind of had that, right? Especially on counter hit. But uh, you know, the way this game is around him, it's like, yeah, they gave him what he needed to make him work in this game. But in the long run, he's gonna kind of be the way he was before tag two. I think he's gonna end up like in the middle, mid tier kind of probably. If you want to talk tiers, that's my guess right now. He has the same weaknesses he always had at a higher level, especially. You got to get yourself killed to get medium level damage. Basically, <laughs> if you guess wrong, you get killed. If you guess right, you get mid tier damage. And that's Marduk, right? Unless you get good with uh, get get lucky with some counter hits or some really good reads on some counter hits, he's, it's going to be mid level damage. Just for curiosity's sake, what tier would you put Marduk in realistically? Uh, around the middle, middle of the road. The thing about this game is like a lot. What a lot of people say about the tiers is you kind of get a clear cut like top five. I don't know. I don't know what people think about season two. To be honest with you, I haven't been following what people think about season two. I do think that Claudio's buffs were overrated. Like I kind of first suspected this when I first looked at Claudio post season two, where I was like, people are overrating this low. This low isn't that great. The low, low high string, you know. And forward three, even though fourth three is natural combo, forward three being a high now is a huge nerf. And didn't they nerf the low crush frames on forward three also on top of that? Yeah, that's a very massive nerf for a very fucking cheap move. A cheap move that he can use to mindlessly do. He can't mindlessly do that move anymore. That's a huge change at a high level play. In high level play, that's a massive change to that move, right? You know, 4-3, he can't mindlessly spam anymore either. Yeah, sure, it's natural, but he can't just mindlessly do 4-3 to keep himself covered. 4-3 was so cheap before where you would duck the 4 and the winner to punish him off of the 3 was like non-existent. It was crazy. If you duck the floor and you try to, like, wow, while standing in, you're going to get counter hit all fucking day before. Now it's just like to stay ducking. He was the second hit. You launch him. That is a massive, massive nerf that, like, you would you suspect that's a massive, massive nerf when you first see it. But as it's starting to play out, and especially when you watch Shadow play with him, and when he gets punished for using that kind of shit, you, you see it play out in the matches. You really do. Um, so I think Claudio is definitely probably a better overall character, right? But I don't think it's as crazy as people were making it out to be. Uh, but yeah, you got that clear. You generally have that in this game so far. You generally have that clear top couple of characters. And then you have like this kind of this middle of the road where everybody else kind of falls under. And then you have like the clear bottom characters, right? And I, Marduk with his tools, you, I can't consider him bottom. He could still move. He could still backdash. That puts him automatically above Gigas and Kuma. <laughs> in my book. I don't know where Lucky Chloe's falling these days, you know? Um, I don't really know her shit like that. And she was, like, one of the first characters I looked through forever ago when this game came out, so I barely remember anything about her. Um, yeah. Marta got crazy damage, and, yeah. It's just, when he has to take the risks, it fucking sucks. It's not in your favor. So you kind of have to just have this masterful amount of, that level of spacing, really, to make the most out of it, to make every whiff into a down forward one whiff punish. Not an easy thing to do when your fucking character's elbow is thick and hand left hand is sticking all the way out here. The thing about Marduk is while he has good range on like a down back two and up forward one plus two, he has to create more space than average. And that kind of negates that, right? That really kind of negates that for Marduk. Not well, not fully negates is not right, right way to put it. That kind of evens it out you know it makes the range matter a little less than it would on a normal character uh are you gonna do another ranked grind stream i mean i probably will eventually i just you know, 
you know, I'm. I said a while back that when Marduk got added, that I would want, I would just play more because I'd be hyped when he got added. And I said that with thinking that it would make me want to play any way that I can. But every time I play online, it's it fucking kills the game for me. To be honest with you guys, playing online fucking sucks. It sucks. Sucks, 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 sucks. I hate it. Maybe it's because I came up the, with DR going to Chinatown Fair. That was just such a cool experience. Playing, like, fucking best players in my area. Lag was not an excuse. Sure, there was other bullshit people who whine about shit, you know. There's always people always going to whine about something, myself included. But why add online to that? Why add the lack of face-to-face? -face? Why add the people trolling you because they, they could get away with it? Why add, all, you know? It just makes the game less fun. If you came up that way, that pro that stuff probably doesn't mess with you as much as it does to somebody like me, is my guess. But you know, I'll still do it. I'll f I'll get that itch eventually, and I'll do it again. But you know, I also I like to play other games. That's why I don't compete in Tekken. Because if I competed in Tekken, I know I'd have to go all in and only play this. And I like too many games, guys. I'm sorry. I like my nerdy JRPGs. Uh, for now, I'm about to eat these fucking hot dogs, keto diet style, no bread gonna be my big dinner and i'm going to uh go